Welcome, I'm so happy you're here. This is Crusader Kings 3 and I am the Emperor and we are going to play the game. I'll talk about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, so you might have a better idea of how to play. This is our Carpathia playthrough. Well, it is our, realistically, it is our Gamer playthrough because that's where we started, somewhere here in this little county there, which no longer belongs to us. But we've built from this county this whole entire empire. There's a whole playlist over on YouTube. You'll be watching this on Twitch and you're interested in that. Uh, go check that out. The bot will post the link and also in the whole, you know, description box stuff. There's also links. Right. I don't really have any big goals ahead. Maybe unite the Slavs, but for that the Byzantines kind of has to crumble. And also try and survive all the... All these factions. Now, there was a patch recently. Again, a hotfix. So, I'll just assume there's going to be some issues. Some some slightly buggy experiences. But that's perfectly fine. To, to a point. So... I don't know. Let me check something, oh, because we had we had this. Oh, all right, very good. So they fixed this. We no longer see the clan thing going on here. Or do we? Wait, I think I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong spot to see that. Nope, no more clan thing. The game has finally realized we are not a clan. So that's good. Uh, yes, give me money, please. I will definitely take your money. I appreciate that. Faction targeting us has been disbanded. We like to hear that. Still working on getting rid of the other factions by heavily swaying people around us. A notable guest with a claim on a county. Yes, the Empress will be moved. So why would I want to release this one? Why would I want to pay you, my vassal, to release my other vassal? Like... I mean, she'd like us a little bit, but she does like us anyway. <laughs> I have no such desires. What I do have desire for is checking the work of our mother. And the servants of the lamb which we created playing as her are slowly spreading without our, throughout our empire. So something I've been considering is potentially just coming here ourselves you know I'm not even waiting for a crusade because we're not partaking in crusades anymore because we don't really get anything out of it well we might just send a few people siege a bit since the factionism is under some level of control now are we swaying the right people yes we are Okay, we have a little court event here. What's going on? Let's read these out. I haven't read these in a while because it's just the same events over and over and over and over again. But tonight, I feel generous. Tonight, I will give myself a little push there. So, let's see. Ma'am, my empress, your matriarch Bumila, she just, she, she just won't stop eating fig pie. My nephew, Ladislav, stammers. Right at this moment, I spot Boom Mila exiting the pantry, carrying a pile of fig pie in both arms. Is something the matter, my liege? Boom Mila asks, glancing down. You ate the royal fig pie? To the dungeon? Nah. My god, woman, pull yourself together. Ah, we have a high chance of that going wrong, so... You better pay for that. She is our matriarch, so we are kind of dependent on her opinion of us uh, being high, so the church pays their dues. So, you're barred from a pantry from now on. We'll take the least problematic option there. Let's find you a spouse, maybe someone who can set you right, set you straight. Not matrilineal, though. Never matrilineal. Let's take one of our own family here. Who can maybe help her find the light, find her way. 
Not back into the pantry, mind you. That's where she is barred from. Servant of the Lambs appears in the Duchy of Austria. Oh, look at that. It's funny to me. Because it says heresy, but to us, I knew they would see the light eventually. Duke Friedrich of Austria has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to the servants of the Lamb. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the noble of Austria no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true and are dis distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. They are instead professing themselves servants of the Lamb, whose doctrines they feel better align with God's will. Ah, look, spreading outside of our realm. We do not hold the Duchy of Austria. No, no, this is somewhere here. Somewhere in Bavaria. Who we cannot fight against, though it kind of shows that we can, but it ain't true. So, how do we get, how do we get to fight anyone here? Well, we're too far away and we don't have a castle spelly. But, what we always can do. And I think we should. We'll take Blaumina. And she is... Oh, wait. Yeah, right, 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 right. Um, we have switched to Ultimo Genitura as our succession law. So I'm working on getting one of our next door counties back into our own um, hands. So we'll do that first. And then we'll send her to fabricate us a claim on Santiago. Now the Pope... Pope is unlikely. Oh, ah, ooh, the Crusader started. Ah, right, right, right. Righteous, righteous. Uh, ooh, very good. Mallorca and Menorca are ready, ripe for the taking. So we'll do this again. We'll just raise the local army, which will bring in the 1,370 something levies, as well as our men at arms. So we'll send those over to the islands because we're not going to do much in the Crusade. Uh, there's a bug at the moment where, even though we can't participate, even though we get the numbers we need, it's not really, it's not really working. So I don't know. Uh, a scheme at court. You're scheming against one of my courtiers. Well, into the dungeon you go, you rascal. So what we're gonna do is um, add some war score, but mainly we want to siege. So we take our our prime troops. Set them to the sea. And hopefully we'll get a little bit of gold at least by sieging. Because the Pope sure isn't going to give us anything at the moment. Could lawfully imprison this fool. Are you part of a faction? You sure are. He's not going to come willingly. So if we do that, all of these are going to rise against us. And right now we're... In a little bit of a different situation where I'd rather not commit troops to such an undertaking at home. So why am I going to those islands? Because, well, the Islamic hordes will not. And you get in there early. Oh, yes, please, my queen, come in. Good effort. It is not an easy language. You have done such a great job trying to say it in my own words. She kneels in deference as the tenants bring forth her gifts, coin, and precious objects. The oath has taken the scribe's record and pledges to serve the Empire of Carpathia. Though the Queen has clearly practiced her high German vows, she mispronounces several sections. No, no, this, this is quite fine. I appreciate it. Only a fool would admonish them. Let's see, let's hold some court. I was saying about the island. It's safe. No big roving mob is going to take us down there, so we'll take that. Let's see. I recognize the next set of petitioners immediately there. Queen Irina of Valachia and Drogo, a pair that are well known for the intense rivalry. My lord begins Queen of Valachia. Uh, we have to tell you that many in your realm are intensely dissatisfied with the current tax regime. They find it to be unjustifiably extortionate. They are acting as one, which confuses us. Drogo, I am not your enemy. She is. So we could try and pitch them against each other. But looking at those probabilities here isn't really good. Perhaps you'd back those words up with steel. We can successfully intimidate them, gaining us 32 dread. And they get plus 20 opinion of us because they're scared. Um, and yeah, how about that? 
Let's see. I'm faced with someone's sad eyes. Oh no, they're bringing another child into the court. Someone will take care of it. I don't care. Let's see. Serious business. A frightful peasant strolls all too close before the guard steps between us. Oh! He backs off with a wink, laughing through his scant teeth. Yeah, lady Niss, I'm come here from Kako with a meadow of great our import. His eyebrows undulate. You'll see him, Prince of Fletcher's sister, swore she could make better spiced wine than the Cooper's husband's wife. Wait, of course, they were judged to die, and then the husbands got involved. You don't say. Please, go on. Basel opinion, minus five for ten years. Don't forget that, but public opinion goes up. Uh, I think we'll just, we'll just do that. We'll deal with it. It's all fine. Thank you. Thank you. We're done with holding court. We should set our last seer to organize the army so our financial strain is lessened during our troops being raised for war here. We could also do another little trick. Uh, we'll replace them with us. So we should get the crusader trade as long as we stay here. Okay, we're seeing the enemy gather. Let's hope they don't intend to gather upon Maloka. Oh, for once, these are part of the crusade, of the goal. Alright, let's see. Sway the good king. My lady, pray tell, who is the most noble person you have heard of? King Zemislav, without a doubt. We lose a little bit of prestige, but that's fine. Oh, our chancellor position is open again. Happens from time to time. So, we have a powerful vassal who would like to have a job. We have another powerful vassal who would uh, already has a job. Uh, but they are our... Let's see. Do we have a better... This? No, we do not. So, we'll leave her in the position that she is. Because there she is just a little bit better. The target counter requires this ruler to hand it over to its ruler leader. Might we use this? Might we use this? Might we use this like that? Okay, we'll, we'll try this out in a moment, but... Let's see, um... Two points different isn't too much. As long as they are above 15 with their skill, that's generally fine. So let's put in our son and vassal. Uh, the good King Zelimir. And now we use this here. Because I haven't really used it. I've, I've never seen this, nor have I used it. So we want someone to hand over. So this here is du jour part of... Uh, wait, wasn't there a different county here? Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're not going to do that. I thought I had another county there to maybe get in that way, but... We really don't. So our contribution at the moment is 650. Our rank is first, which I don't believe. Like, there's a bug. Either it's in, in the war score or elsewhere. <laughs> like, the fact that we don't have a beneficiary here, but we have it here, it's, it's all kind of iffy. Oh, no. Okay, our troops are being completely obliterated now because uh, the enemy has decided to land here. And other Crusaders are not showing up. So that's a problem for us. Because we're not going to get anything out of this. We're not finishing our siege. We're also not going to have our troops ready. And available to us. Because they're pretty much destroyed. But we do get the uh, trade Crusader. We also get the trade Wounded. Because, well, such is the life of a Crusader sometimes. Also immediately lost the trade Wounded. And apparently we're fighting another small army, a remnant of something, whereas the main host is moving away. So, okay, our troops are likely to recover here and we can just move over there once these are gone. And we'll just slowly recover here, I'd say. And we'll fight this army yet again and win again. Because even though there are more, we have higher quality and that counts for a whole lot. So
So... I don't know, 10,000 all of a sudden is, is our score here. I mean, these rarely are won by the, by the, Vic, by the victorious Crusaders, I almost said, but by the Crusaders, so it eh, doesn't really matter. We'll just sit here with our troops and wait for them to replenish, though they might not even do that because they're way too far away. Let's have a little watch here, see if this number go up. I don't think it does, not in enemy territory. So what we'll have to do is travel here for the low, low price of five ducats. And then replenish there and then maybe try again. We'll see. I don't care about your little claims there, you fools. Familiar reflection. Memories like these. With the axe I seek bravery. I whisper under my breath, which is our house motto. We could pay her some money, so it becomes our friend. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm happy, happy to not do that. Right, a new faction was created against us. Will we escape? Yes, this time we escape the clutches of our pursuers. But they might just land here and try and slaughter us again. But now we're in friendly ter territory again, because this has been taken by the Crusaders before. Meaning, yep, we're replenishing it once more. So this will be costly a little bit having to have our troops replenished. Oh, the Khan is dead, yet again. This has happened a bunch. Though the Mongol Empire is not to be underestimated. Absolutely not. Oh! Oh, excuse me. The Mongol Empire took out Persia. Took it over and out. Roger Wilco. That's kind of crazy. So now they are a threat to the Byzantines. They have a border. And the Byzantines so very helpfully built a little wall between us and the hordes. <laughs> so, I'm not even that mad about all this. So our soldiers here are slowly replenishing. How much is the garrison here? The garrison is 1,500. So we need at least 1,501 troops to take this eventually. Council opinion, plus 20. Yes. Go. Large levy sounds fun, but we don't need levies. We need people who won't stab us in the back. So this guy, uh, th this our our here matriarch will always have a plus twenty, which is important for our income. Look at that church holdings, thirty four gold. That's a big, big, big number. That's important to us. Everyone else here who's kind of not happy with us is much happier now. This lady, yeah. They all do hate my uh, absolute crown authority. And I'm actually almost impressed how long we've held this. The minus 40 on certain vassal types is... Uh, I mean, even minus 50 for minority vassal types is, is punishing. It's horrendous. Question is, will we have another child? We are 51. We will not have another child. But our next... Heiress here. Oh, we should definitely get on our education. Now, what are you good at? Okay, you're a steward. So let's get you duty focus and let's educate you that way as well. Uh, I'm not giving you 400 gold to sway you. Are you absolutely joking? Yeah, fool. Okay, we... Are we being killed again? Yep, yep, yep. That's not good. We need to stop that. We need to move home. If we survive that, which we might not because... There's nowhere for us to retreat to. Um, right, okay. We'll, we'll educate her ourselves. Because there's no one better to do it. So we'll do it. I don't like the event chains. I like to pawn it off. That's why I don't have kids. In real life and all. But we're doing actually pretty good. Considering. We might even win this. So why are we winning this? This is a big question. So every point down here in the advantage is, as far as I understand it, let's read a little bit about it. Advantage basically means, I heard it somewhere, I don't know the numbers exactly, but they do more damage. I think it's 2% per advantage point. So we do 80% more damage right now. Almost, uh, it says right there, full. Your damage in is increased by 94%. So this army just landed here. 
with 9,000 troops. 9,000. On top of our 1,800. All right. That is complete and utter insanity. And yet we're holding. Why? Because they came here, recently disembarked, minus 30. Uh, our commander martial skill plus 18. I mean, apparently we're pretty good at what we're doing. And, um, yeah, we're defending here. So, that's great. That, <laughs> if you should worry, welcome. Good evening. Uh, we are actually at... Um, that's a great question. This is the ninth crusade, I think. But look at what's going on right now. Look at this. We're winning this. With 1,800, we just slaughtered 9,000. Look at this. Ninth, almost 10,000 troops landed atop of our 2,280. And we absolutely massacred them. Yeah, disembark isn't all. We had a we had a advantage of 47, giving us 90%, 98% to something uh, extra damage. Complete obliteration. And they even have cataphracts, which, you know, is pretty good. Camel riders. I don't know what they do. Countess Light Horseman. Um, so, I want to see where, where's our heavy cavalry in this. Heavy cavalry killed 1,300. Next to our knights, 1,500. That's... That's... <laughs> that's just crazy. Their knights got 137. Ours got 1,519. Are you absolutely joking? That's just utter insanity. I didn't think we would hold this. I thought we were lost. I thought this position was done. She isn't even like look at her. I mean, she she has high prowess with 30, but 18, Marshall, that's nothing. She's a thrifty clerk. <laughs> yeah, look at our contribution overall. It's crazy. We, our score is 13,000 something. Um, so, yeah, it's probably going to be zero. Zero contribution overall. You're quite right. That's how it always goes for us, isn't it? I mean, we are servants of the Lamb. Yeah? We're, we're supposed to be peaceful. So we're basically mistreating our own tenants with this. Um, I'd say so. What do we what do we compliment her for? What is she good at? She's a fornicator, a drunkard, but she's athletic, athletic, diligent. Let's go with relentless courage. That's what we say about her. Oh no worries. Mareep Community Day. Is is that for your what did you call it? That multi-game type thing. Pokemon Go. Alright. Ah, look. We uh, we praised her for the right thing there. I mean, we'll see. I'm, I'm just sitting here. I'll I'll sit here. I'll sit here, replenish my troops. If they want to come, Archipelago. Yeah, that's... Okay. That was the word I was looking though for. I must stop the villain behind this. I don't care. They can plot all they like. So I would move off here, but this is ours, so we get the defender advantage. And we can replenish here. If we go elsewhere, we cannot. So all the other worthless crusaders... <laughs> How much did we just uh, add? 6%. I mean, they won something big somewhere. So it's not entirely out of the world yet. But we'll just sit there. We'll just replenish. It's all good. We're still earning good money. All fine by me. Let's see. What can we build? Pastures. All very expensive stuff here. Let's see. Can we upgrade something to improve our, our heavy cavalry even further? Because that would be kind of fun. And I think it's going to be another blacksmith upgrade. 
Ah, yeah. That's not what I wanted to click. So that's holding taxes plus eight percent. I know I'm I'm jumping too far. Plus four, but toughness plus. I mean, just the knight effectiveness plus one. Increased quality of sponsored inspirations. All right, I mean, we'll take it. We can't afford one without risking our our combat readiness for the next war. Yeah, yeah, you're you're quite right. If if I want to have crusades where I can actually get something out of it, I will have to get my own pope going. But all in good time. We are we are slowly spreading outside of our own realm now. Austria has taken up servants of the Lamb. So see, there's some here around there as well. Might even get Cologne ready. So we'll see. Ah, we're being attacked again. Let's see. This time it's 21,000. I think they have a better chance this time around. Yeah. Looks like they're winning this time. Question is, will we become prisoners? Will we escape this somehow? I mean, at least we get to run into the sea. And back home. Oh boy. Oh, we go back home. Oh, we go back. Back home, we go literally back home. This is our, this is our retreat round. We can't deviate from this. This is we're going to Krakow. We're going all the way back. <laughs> I've never seen this. So what do we actually need to do for mending the schism? Uh, let's see, mend the great schism. You complete level of the... Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> All the com controls here, no. Jerusalem is under servants of the lamb rule. I mean, we could do that just through conversion. How are we... The oh. What? The kingdom of Great Moravia... Holds Jerusalem. Conversion and vassalization. Yeah, that's that's the way, but... How and when did this happen? I mean, there's also the Mongol Empire, so I'm not surprised by anything anymore, but... That is... A potential problem slash opportunity? That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Mongolia also somehow took all of Persia. Like, these guys are everywhere. They got a little bit up here. Ah, yes, very good. We get a unpressed claim on one of the counties that we have direct control over because we are now Ultimo Genitur, so I don't worry about this anymore. So now we can go like, hey, let me revoke that title here. You're a child anyway. Give me that. He will rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled vassals. Well, my troops are on the way back. Where are they? We can't see them in this view, but they are somewhere here. I think they already landed, so we'll just go with that. See if he takes it or not. Because then we have more stuff to build. There we go. Just so. Just so indeed. And I don't need to get another county. Because there are building slots here. As you can see. So we'll just need to build something more. But honestly this is just a tragedy. So let's start upgrading all this a little bit. Before we really start something entirely new. We might start with the city already. Let's see. Where should we put the city ideally? I mean, this is planes. Doesn't really matter. Does it? They have all the same level of uh, development, so I don't think it matters much. I mean, this kind of decides certain buildings you can build. And I think a city is better in planes. We'll just build that there. And now we... Hmm. Do we stand them down or do we go back here? 
I mean, this shouldn't matter anymore, but... I never got to do the thing I wanted to do. You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take these lads and lasses. And we're gonna go raid some coastline. That has nothing to do with crusades whatsoever. But it's safe. No one's gonna come there. So we'll just send them down here for now. And then we'll just get whatever has money. Okay, none of these have a lot of money really. This is not even this is not even part of the war. Where am I even going? What am I doing? What do we have here? 75. That's a great that's 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 exactly what God wants. God wants us to take this. Sfax. There we go. That's what God wants us to do. Deus Vult Sfax. Ah, we have finally embraced the ritualized friendship tradition. Meaning, even though we don't have it, we can just now go around and be like, Hey you. Hey you. Befriend. I swear, that's one of the best traditions out there, I think. Now that I've discovered it, I think it's the bestest, uh, bestestest one out there. And I will not accept any discussion on the topic. I am right. And everyone who disagrees is a fool. Ah. You expect a council position. Well, tough luck. Alright, another thing I wanted to do is fabricate a claim on Santiago here. Um, there. That way, I can go and attack, maybe? Just that? Not a holy war, you know, so other Muslims won't just be able to get in on that. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no, the Crusaders are... Well, I mean, they're... Eh? Ah. Nope. They actually won that. Would you look at that? But it's not ending. <laughs> 56% I already have one selected. It's a lie Our son he is the right man for the job Where are my troops soon soon they will arrive in the Holy Land Idea oh Let's hear it fusion warrior Let's go. What if we select a Catholic beneficiary? Do I even have such a horrible person in my lands? I mean, yes, there are a few Catholics, but I don't think any of them qualify. Yep, it's all servants of the lambs that are fine to be selected. I mean, I'm scrolling. I'm looking for the Catholics, but... It's all Servant of the Lamb that we can select. I don't think we are allowed to select one. Why are we not allowed to select? It's not Servants of the Lamb. We are not allowed to select anyone who isn't Servant of the Lambs. So... Not a chance. Is not allowed. The Pope and God wills it not. They basically won't sit. Will not send it. Daughter has learned a language. Very good. So why are you a member of my family? But not a member of my family and dynasty. What happened to you? Where do you come from? Right. Now let's go for large levies. Oh look. They changed it. It's tax woman. They, they automatically do that. That's cool. It's not tax man. So this is what you want. You want to be able to wage war while earning money. <laughs> That's kind of ideal. It's a pretty good state to be in. Now, will the Crusaders be able to not starve here to death? 
Because they all kind of look like they're starving. Is there still anything left? Yes. A little bit. But we're taking the backlands. They didn't see us coming. Look at that. We seized an antelope horn. Which is good money for us. I think that's 80. 80 gold. 80 gold for destroying that thing. Bam. We'll take it. And we'll use it to repair some of the things that we do want. Somewhat. Huh? Totally worth it. So now we can march in here because we got a nice little border with our controlled territory. This I don't think goes in here, does it? No. Castellon. This is not Castellon. This does not matter in the grand scheme of the war. But that's okay. Not everything we do has to matter. This is the one thing they take. But they're they're on their way. They're working on it. They're getting more. <gasps> the Pope is dead. Long live the Pope. And we're only swaying one person. But it will abandon the scheme to befriend. No, the befriending is more important. Will Pope Anastasius the Sixth also be a warmongering, crazy, crusade declaring machine? All right, they got another siege done. Oh no, West Francia took this. It's no longer Muslim. So we would have to fight the Franks for that. Which is a bit tough. So I think we'll can, we can just... Def we'll abandon that. that, that no. Let's go improve our religious relationships, please. Thank you. Do that. <laughs> is he evil adventurer? I didn't look. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Warlike. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's probably going to go toward war way more crusading. Let's check our little... Oh. We don't have anyone interesting to put away. Ooh, yes, we can station your men-at-arms. Yes, 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 indeed. We have unstationed men-at-arms. We need to make some choices now. So we can put someone right there, right away. Let's see. Ah, right. Now nah, we can't do that while we're at war. Of course, they're raised. Nah, silly me. Why would the thing that the game says we can do not actually, you know, why would it work? That's it's a crazy proposition. Oh, look, there's actually an army being raised. Will they fight us, I wonder? I mean, all they've done... Their raising is taking forever. Five more days. And we won the siege, so we can actually attack them? Yeah, let's go. Let's kill some of these unbelievers. And then we can get Constantine. I'm a little bit worried that someone's going to turn around and come fetch me, you know? Like, you there, stop this. But it looks like their forces are kind of focusing on the actual crusading army and not... Us silly little people that we are, you know, which I think is is pretty much a good idea that they keep going up north rather than come down south. Something just popped up on court. I didn't I didn't imagine that, but there's nothing there. I mean, she's getting old. She's hearing voices. <laughs> I mean, the, Islam is still gathering allies, whereas the Crusaders, I think, we're pretty much where we are. Lovely. The friend scheme's done. You know what? It never really works, but let's check. Yeah, 1% chance to befriend the Pope. We have more chances with swaying them, but befriending the Pope? The Pope is no man's man. Oh, look at that! 
855 gold for efficient taxation. Yes. Yes, queen. And this is the only appropriate moment to ever say this phrase is when your queen is doing something good for you, then you are allowed to say yes, queen. Because yes, queen. That means another castle for us. Which we can't yet build because the city isn't done yet. But that means upgrades to places that we already have. Uh, this being upgraded. Let's see. Can we do something cool here? Something that gives us a lot of money, for example. Uh, uh, not too convinced here. Development growth plus 5%. We'll take that one. That's good. We'll take that for sure. And we'll upgrade this a little bit more. Oh, we just got a nice little windfall. No need to be stingy. Starting some more development growth in here. Sure, we'll take it. And this will upgrade as well. Holding taxes plus 1%. It's very little, but... Over the centuries... It makes a difference. Trust. Trust that. I want to peek at our development because I'm still proud of that one. Look at that. A beacon of civilization out here in the east. I'll never find as civilized as people as the Carpathians. Oh. Oh, oh, Crusaders winning more battles. Ah, this one there. I think they're losing it. Yeah, this one they're losing. Big shame. Look at that. 122% extra damage. Yeah, you... No, nothing to be done about it. But I think we're living large. We're having a good time back here. Let's see if we can find some more allies of this uh, silliness that's far away from home, you know. Or we can, we can take more people out in the back line. But that huge battle that they just lost did very little. It's just 9%. It's almost nothing. Okay, let's get that. Should we go inland first? Let's see, 26 gold, 44. Now nah, we'll take the bigger one first. So this queen isn't swayed. We can stop swaying her. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna befriend her. See? I think it's our... Is that her? Yeah, I think. Why sway when you can befriend with 100% success chance? Excuse me. That's just, um, you know, 100%. That's really, yeah. You, you take that. If you get 100% chance on anything, you take that. It's just how it works. Oh, finally, we have someone who can be ransomed. I mean, 50 gold. 50, 50 gold is 50 gold. We'll take it. Thank you. Children like guardians. I don't care. They are not my beloved heir. S. Yeah, I don't think the Crusaders are going to break back into that. Not with their troops dying. And Islam continuously reinforcing. I mean, I'm doing my best back here. Trying to cut off reinforcements and supplies. Look at me go. I'm the most efficient creature you ever did see. Snaking around in the in the underbrush there. Getting things and places. Ah, we love to see it. Everything is being built. Everything is being upgraded. This city will be done eventually. And we're increasing our power. It won't be unlimited power, but it will be power. Naba. Ah, dude has no money. 10 out of 50? Huh. Excuse me. Let's dismiss this nonsense here. 
I don't care about our children. They're all as fine as they can be. We could exchange hostages with the Khan. Let's. I mean, why not? Wait. Wait. Why? Wait a moment. Are there two Mongol empires now? No. Why is this? Oh, this is a rebellion. This is a rebellion. Oh. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, good, good lord. Oh, man. They are being taken for lunch. They are losing wars left and right. Okay, these are all rebellions basically breaking up. <laughs> Goodness. What a kerfuffle. What a little issue you're in. Alright, the, the crusade is being cleaned up. From uh, almost 60% down to 0% in a few years. It's good we never commit to these. <laughs> they might win. We can't have that. Not with how they have treated us in the past, the fools. Can I befriend him? And be like, hey, how about uh, you convert to our much, much more superior and amazing religion? How about that? I'm not too fussed about it. it, it it'll spread. It'll go places. I'm slowly getting the word out there. I don't care if someone is sinning. Eh, let them. Oh, Crusader Army winning a battle. Good on them. Let's see how long it lasts. I mean, they're all starving down there. There's literally nothing they can do. I say, and then they take another city. Well, looks like I am... Proven a braggart and a fool. Huh? What do I need to take here? I already took that. Where's the other one? That is a castle? That thing? That itty bitty little thing is a castle? Okay. If you say so. I'll just pretend it is so. So no one gets embarrassed about it. And right now I'm kind of indiscriminately upgrading again. Because it's kind of affordable at the moment. And why not? Why not take the affordable upgrades? Hmm. I'd rather go with the affordable upgrades that give us more money. But... Men at Arms Maintenance. Minus 1%. Yes. That is not nothing. With 23.4, that's a point two maybe that goes off there. That's money we can spend elsewhere. Never underestimate that stuff. And we'll upgrade this because we want the extra development growth in there. And now we're at my bottom threshold. I don't want to have less than 1,600 gold. But we're we actually helping here. So don't think we're not. Because all these occupied areas, they can't get new troops out of. Like, these guys came from here. None of these can raise new troops. So if they are defeated, that's that. No, no, no fresh troops coming from here. Not that it will matter, but that's how it works. Uh, okay, one of the Grand Masters has left the Crusade. We're back at 30% somehow. We got a whole five gold out of that siege. Big gains, boys. Big gains. 
Everyone's doing as they should. Lovely. 14 years until we have integrated Bohemia. Ah, oh, no. That's not the information that we got here. Uh, I think we're working on... What are we working on? Doesn't even say. I know that he's working on Croatia, but why doesn't it say here? Ah. Fine. Ah, new skill. Soon forgiven. Monthly tyranny. Minus 0 0.15. I never use tyranny as anything. Like, I, I avoid things that make me a tyrant. So it's not super important. But do we have any tyranny at the moment? No, we only have dread. No tyranny on our end. Another cut at branch. And soon we'll, we'll be done here, which makes me a little bit sad. But we can still go here. There's another 20 gold there. Oh, we can also go down to Tuat. Which... I don't know how we would get there, but... I also don't think I want to get there, really. But these guys have done their duty for long enough. Oh, there's another castle here somewhere. Which of these... Okay, this little tiny itty-bitty little thing. Another five gold. We'll take it. So we could try and get Mallorca, Menorca, but... So the West Frank's a pretty prime position now to take that. Is there any holy site that's not in Christian hands? No. Ah, we're friends with the queen. Very good. That's what we want, of course. Oh yes, a dynasty thing. All right. So what she? What's what she? What she's about? She's not. She's not about this. That was her mother's thing. She doesn't believe so much. Faith creation and reformation cost. Head of faith opinion, plus 15 though. More piety from pilgrimages, plus 30%. I mean, the head of faith opinion, plus 15 alone is almost worth this. Let's see. Where would she go? If this was her mark on history. She is... I mean, she is a crusader. She's reclusive, avaricious, thrifty, cynical, calm, just, honest. Not a great traveler, but, you know. What's her thing? She hasn't done that much that wasn't what her mother was doing already. So I feel like her mark might actually go in the same line as, um, as her mother's line. Could go with long reach, but eh, I'm not a schemer. Bounteous loins, studious youth, desirable match. Maybe she went for glory. Maybe she did that. Traditional weddings? Nah, she never cared about that. None here cares about language either. I think she'll go with true believers because it's still the early days of the servant of the lamb. And she has been pushing for that. She has been pushing for that. Speaking of which, let's check our vassals real quick. And see if we need to convert some fools here. So we'll go through them. Sadly, I can't filter this one. Which is a bit negative. So we'll just have to click her through. Yeah, just like her mother's, her life also has been crusade after crusade after crusade. War and party is all she knows. You're so right. That is a perfect quote on what's going on there so i see only servant of the lamb in our vassals which i appreciate uh what do you want you want an artifact i know i've complained about this before but this irks me ah here it says you want the perfume Fine. I don't want the perfume. Have it. I can't destroy it. When it is destroyed, it's not going to give us anything. So what What do I care? Take the perfume. Enjoy. Good luck. Have fun. They are tenacious. They keep coming. So we could attack somewhere where the enemy isn't likely to be. 
do that. We could go... 31 gold. I would like a small keep to attack. Ideally. Something that's easy to take. Quick. 86 gold. 105, but these are not easy to take. This one is fairly easy. Fort level 4, that's nothing. But this thing here. 9. Maybe we go here. Maybe we try. Maybe we try our luck. Come on, let's let's try. Let's try our luck. We'll go there. If our armies are defeated, well... She's a true believer. Fighting for her true beliefs. And we could absolutely change this outcome. If we raise all of our troops, which we're absolutely not going to do. No way, no how, thank you. Okay, we just built some stuff here. Let's see. Vegetable fields or linchettes. By diverting water from a nearby stream into a terrace, we can massively increase... Huh. Okay, so the Byzantine Empire just declared war on us. Which is bad. For one reason... And one reason only. Because we, quite frankly, don't have the troops. But. Let's see. Our house members are all kind of horrible. We'll call every single one of them. Costs us nothing in a defensive war. The King of Sweden with 304 men. Now, these won't do much to change the outcome of this war. But, we don't need that. Let's try and find us some um, alliances, maybe. King of England, Prince Matthew. I think we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take this. That's fine. We'll bring in the English. It's matrilineal. It's fine. Let's get some alliances going if we can at all. Uh, I think we did all we can in terms of alliances. The English are taking it. We'll take it. I mean, it is kind of good RP-wise, I agree. But also, it isn't because it's a defensive war. Again. Okay, let's see. Should she remain arrogant now? Arrogant is not a great trait for a ruler. Uh, let's see. We'll make her generous. No, that's not good for a ruler either. Fickle. Stewardship isn't ideal for what she is, but plus 20% uh, resistance. Scheme resistance. That's pretty good. Let's see. What, what does arrogant give us? Nah. <laughs> I mean, the Byzantines are fighting over this a couple of times now. This is not the first time. We'll see. I don't want her to be generous. It's it's not good. I think I think we'll put her on fickle. She needs to be careful. And now we can call in England. I mean, it's 30,000 troops, yeah? We didn't have that just a second ago. So everyone is happy to join here. And we'll... Like, my main idea is we attack Byzantium directly. It is the most heavily fortified city in the world. With a fort level to 20. Uh, we're also not bringing enough troops for this one. <laughs> we'll need to gather some more troops. Uh, let's do that. We're definitely not bringing enough troops for this one. So we'll raise... Yeah, you know what? We'll just raise all here. It doesn't really matter. It'll come to blows. And I'd rather have all our troops ready. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. We need to stop this right now. The enemy is coming. So we need to move away. 
Okay, can you all please get on ships and sail down here? That will be enough to siege. With our... Where are they? Okay, they, they, they're far away, but they will come. So let's raise everyone elsewhere, maybe. We'll move the flag, maybe we raise them somewhere in the mountains there. Uh, somewhere here. So will we get away is the big question. We may or we may not. Something is approaching zero durability, but it, it won't tell us what. This is a secret. Secret between itself and no one. Okay, so one army is getting away. I think all of them are going to get away. Alright, so now we're losing money heavily. And we'll send these guys around. We'll attack something up there. Where they're unlikely to go. Our best chance is taking Byzantium. Oh, look at that. We're known as the good. My liege, have you heard what they call you? My Emperor Jovidas says to me while folding his hands. They call you the Empress Blahumira the Good. Spectacular, is it not? It is on the lips of the peasant and noble alike. Calls for celebration. Good stuff, I like it. It is befitting. Now the question is, yep, yep, all right. I was wondering what the little dance was that they were doing there. I was wondering what that little dance was. Now we know. They were deciding to come to defend. All right, I don't think our troops are gonna get away. So we have 10,000 a ship now. We'll just leave them there. They'll go away in a moment. We'll send these across here. Or will we? Can I, can I travel by river? Is that allowed to me? No, I cannot. All right, so we'll scrap my plans. Turn this ship around, <laughs> quite literally. I mean, they're coming for this, so this is what we need to defend. We'll fight them. I think we'll just go fight them. So I need to land here. So I don't walk around there, because there's only this crossing there. So we'll put everyone up there. So they are doing this best they can. We could put him on taxes, but that's not going to do much. It's already fighting this war. Very good. Can ransom someone. Let's do that. Oh, that wasn't ransom. We were just getting a hook paid. That's what she's been doing. Getting hooks paid. The Great Carpathian Army hasn't been raised in full in many, many years. I don't know what they are doing. I don't think they know what they are doing. This looks very dysfunctional. I was expecting more from our southern neighbors here. All right, let's see. So there's hills here. Where we could try and goad them into defending. Uh, there's also... Okay, let's see. On the tooltip we get a bunch of info. So 26 plus 26 defensive advantage. 26 plus 33. So this one would be better. If we can fight them here, that would be ideal for us. Because it's ours. They will have to fight us there. Depending on what the heck they're doing. But a defensive battle is likely our best option in this. Let's see. Exercises in meditation. Uh, 
I don't know. We'll try and make them see sense. Nope. We are an insen insensitive meddler to them. All right, so our arrival on the battlefield here has spurred our enemy into a decision. Who joins our court? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know just the place for him. He's great. It's a nice little knight that we can use right there. Let's see. Inactive accolades. We can't get anything up there. Oh boy, no, I don't want him to be forced. This guy needs to be forced. This guy needs to be forced. These, all these, all these need to be forced. All these amazing knights not fighting here. Just because they're kings. Our son, everyone. Into the breach. Let's see. Now we can appoint someone to this accolade as well. Very good. Can we put some successes in? Yes. Can put some successes in as well. Could recruit some, but I don't really care to do so. All right. So, of course, our English ally is going to be somewhere. <laughs> if they ever even come. Let's just hope the enemy takes our proposed battle. We have discovered fascination machicolations. Machicolations. All right. What the heck is machico? Oh, yes. Very good. We can upgrade our castles further. Machicolations. A notable improvement on our earlier holdings. Stone machicolations serve the same purpose while being significantly more durable and offering more protection for our defenders. Ah, as well we want it. Now... Since we are pretty much at at war level here, I think I want something that actually helps us here a little bit. Plate armor. I think plate armor is the right thing for us. Okay, so they are attacking us and we are likely to lose. Do we have a defender knight, maybe? Like, he is an aggressive attacker, so it doesn't really help us much. But we could lead. Does that help us? Now. You will probably lose. And they're probably right with that. But we'll try anyway. We'll see. Yes, Queen Gertrude. Please, come in. What a generous gift you bring. Okay, they're not even sending all of our armies in here. We have been defeated in the crusade. What a shame. Okay, now they're sending everyone in. But we're already losing, despite our advantage being 37. Now yeah, we're losing this one pretty heavily. I don't quite understand why we would lose this one. Ah, yeah. Look, it's the 11th crusade being called. Well, at least it's not. It's, it's a new one. It's a new lad doing the calling here. <sighs> yeah, let's go through this song and dance again. I don't really care. We'll just click whoever. So our armies got completely obliterated now. And we were taken by the Byzantines. And thus we lost our war. But at least we're free again. And we're being called to war by England. And, um, yeah. Okay, that was a rapid succession of horrible, horrible things happening to us here. That wasn't great. That wasn't great. No, 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 no. That was a quick... I mean, it was a quick... It was a quick, horrible event. A very quick, horrible event. I think I want to usurp this now from the Pope. I'm done with this. I'll take it. That also means I can attack him, I think. Can't I? Yeah. So we'll stand our troops down. Complete and utter obliteration there. What a shame. Ah, uh, well... 
Okay, let's get this guy back on training our commanders. Let's put this perk in. Your vassals are less likely to join independence factions. We like that. So we lost more land to the Byzantine Empire. Uh, we lost the whole of Croatia to the Byzantine Empire. I thought it was just about this bit. They took Croatia entire? What in the world? Oh my good god. That is the biggest blow to the Carpathian Empire in a very, very long time. Yeah, big revenge time. Um, yeah, they just did a thing they definitely should never have done. They took away the thing I love. I've been working... Di Excuse me, why are you not available to me? What is this? Stop being my regent, you fool. What the hell? Um, we can hold court. Let's hold court. Let's quickly get this out of the way. First petitioner, come on in. No. It's not worth it. Think of me what you will, but I'm not giving you all my money. Uh, I don't care about control. Eradicate blasphemers. Let's go. Hostile artifact schemes will become more common. No, we're not inviting anyone to stare at our stuff. Thanks. Bye. Alright now. Okay now. Listen up now. The Byzantine Empire... Needs a new... Bazelios. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I will murder them all. Let's see. Do we want her to be just? Or cynical? Oh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll make a temperate. Temperate is better than all the other ones. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Defied martial custom for 20 years. Let's become an aspiring blade master. Let's do that. She is done. Let's go exclude, uh, seclude ourselves a little bit. Let's go meditate in seclusion as well. And we'll do that in the comfort of our own castle. You have references that make no sense to me, my good person. But I appreciate them all nonetheless. You are dead. You don't even realize it yet. Okay, do we send someone to our English allies? Just so we can say we showed up. Do we have something? I mean, we could we could take out Ireland. What's the closest thing up here, probably? We'll raise a local army, which will just be our men-at-arms. Well, they're unraised and unstationed, so we can station them right now, I would... I would think. So... Nope. Being raised. Can't do that. I don't know Gilbert and Sullivan. It's from the 1800s. I barely know anything from the 1800s, I'd, I'd, I'd say. Okay, okay. We even lost a lot of our Italian holdings. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. I hear you. I see that. And we can set them already. They will start on their journey the second they're fully raised. We don't have to look at them and babysit them. Let's put this last back at organizing our army. Because right now we're actually raising them again. I don't know. What is it? Is it a book? What is it? I don't care about your secrets. Go away. What I care about is upgrading a Krakow castle. Look at that. 
That is fantastic. Eight fourth level 13. Still no Byzantium, but what is? Here we have Byzantium. Let them come, I say. I'm a little bit more um, happy to spend at this point. But of course, we'll try and get our most bang for the buck, as is tradition. Ah. All right. Yeah, I know that song at least. I, I wouldn't have known that there is an actual band behind it, but I believe you. So, what's our best hope for the Byzantine Empire breaking? I would say Borigin was, for a moment, great. Our scheme to kill the man has been exposed. Ah, good stuff. Immediately abandoned. Don't even try. It's the silliest thing. You know what? You know what? There's more people to kill that you care about. I'll find someone. I'll get this done. There, your youngest. How about that? I don't care about this stress. They're taking it. Um, I grit my teeth. Yes, let's have a hunt. To get rid of this stress a little bit. Take another ransom. And activities are somewhere here. There. I will do feast. It's the cheapest thing. On the docket. And we're currently busy meditating, so we're not doing that. Alright, okay, fine. We're not doing that then. We're going to England. Well, to Ireland, really. So, parents of the pensions. Wait. So, who's that song from now? You're confusing me, my lad. Or lass. I don't know. <sighs> okay, so the scheme was exposed, but it doesn't kill the momentum, at least. There's still a good chance of killing that one. Alright, our meditation skill has improved, so now we can do our little... That's, I'm so sorry. I, I call everyone dude, but I think every dude says that. Okay. You know a lot of things. You're wise. You should be our court mystic. With all the things you know about that I've never heard of. I don't need opinion. I don't need prestige. I need rest. I need recuperation. I need a guest of honor. Maybe... I don't know. Our son. Our son can be our guest of honor. Oh, we'll take this lady. Who kind of hates us. And let's befriend her. On top of it. How am I still... Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Fine. We're still meditating. I get it. I'll stop. I'll stop trying to have a feast. Oh, the Emperor is incapable? That's unfortunate. He looks okay. From here. From where I'm standing. Okay. Conclude your meditation. Now we're done. I'm the owner of the Wild Heart Tide. Ah, thank you so much. Good stuff. We don't need that. Where was I just defeated? Hmm. This won't do. Unacceptable. Oh, another crusade. <laughs> This won't do. I'm coming for your family. I'm taking your joy. 
You took mine, I take yours. Should we maybe instead go to our ally and actually fight this army there? Okay, let's not be weirdos for once and actually help. If we can. There's still a crusade to be a weirdo about and not help. So where are the French going? Okay, I know where our ally is going, so we'll go there as well. And then we'll just link up or something. Yeah, let's just land right into a battle. That's always good. I mean, they got the huge advantage, but that's not going to be enough for them. They'll still be slaughtered. Let's see. I'll translate the Greek myself. We gained some stress, but that's okay. I don't mind. Oh, let's go siege something. Earn some money here. 81 gold in it for us. For a second there, I thought this uh, crown here was part of the flag of the war. And I was very confused what the hell that means. Never seen that before, but it isn't. <laughs> oh, well. So I'll just watch the Byzantine Empire like a hawk. And we'll try and make a big fuss really unsettle them what's your oh okay they have primogeniture so they're not going to fall apart they are not going to fall apart the best we can hope is someone else attacking them and we jumping in on that but that's crazy what they just took from us that is complete insanity. How do they... How could they even press all that at once? Okay, we, we have no antiquarian. Definitely need someone immediately for that job. That's the most important job in your court, trust me. Let's have it be our court physician. I mean, we're earning good money at least. And we're finishing this siege, which will also bring us good money. Nice. There's another little castle for us to take, so we'll go and do that. Let's go ahead and upgrade a tome first. Or do we build our new castle? I think we'll build our new castle entire. Let's go. We'll build another castle. We'll build another castle. We mean it. When we say we want to build up. So what's our war contribution? 13%. It's not a lot. We didn't even get anything for that battle we joined. Ah, well. On the ransom, we'll do it. We need all the money we can get. And I doubt the Pope's going to give us anything. Yep, they hate us. But 3,000 gold, that would be something, wouldn't it? I mean, they now hate us because we took their kingdom thing. We usurped their kingdom title. They're not happy about that. 33% chance he dies. 52% chance... Uh, it's revealed. Come on, a third will do it. Maybe it dies. Yep. We trade. We gain the trade, murderer. They know it was I. Good. I wanted to send a message. I wanted to send a message. They were supposed to know.
This is your doing. Don't look at me like that. You brought that upon yourself. She's of our dynasty, even. Absolutely horrendous. Unacceptable. I mean, 23% is 23%, right? <laughs> Let's see, do you have children? Oh, you do? Oh. Ain't that something? Some grandchildren, maybe? I think one of them is fine enough for an honest and just woman like ourselves. Let's go seclude ourselves again. Reduce some of that stress here. Got a little bit of that gone. Sell trivial titles. No, thank you. You murdered someone close to Prince Luce? Yeah, I didn't. Got a rivalry out of it. Oh no, what a shame. All these are now rivals. Well, who could have foreseen that? Because if we took this, what is this even about? How do we get Devon? How can this be about partial baronies? Let's see, what's good in Cornwall? Where's good money here? Is there good money here? Not really. Is there good money here? here 46 gold it's fair enough money there wait are you fighting for all of what are we fighting for here artifact claim war artifact claim war is what we're fighting for are you absolutely kidding me it's all about an artifact Okay, I think I'm done contributing this war. Mm, how are the Crusaders looking at the moment? Not great. Let's go and just take something here. Something on the edge, this thing. Let's go. This will not be forgotten, Byzantium. Uh, let's see. Reciprocate feud with house... Yes! I'm told the Bazelius, you can... Yeah, I don't even care to pronounce his name properly. A contemptible swain has vowed the Sulmiti to be eternal enemies of his family. Ha, to think my killing of Pelagius is actually raised some... Knotomide hackles. Reciprocate the feud. He becomes our nemesis. We lose opinion, we gain a lot of stress. But we gain house feud, which, which does what? Intrigue, plus one. Stress gain, plus 10%. Hostile skin resistance, plus five. Yeah. Feeling is mutual. How dare you attack another good Christian while they are out there fighting to keep the faith. How dare you. You monster. Let's start swaying him. <laughs> we even have... A, we, there's even a chance. What? I'll take all the stress. I don't care. Oh. Oops. What was I just saying? I take all the stress. I don't care. It's not going to hurt me. That was basically where I was going there. The heart aches. The first sign that something is wrong is heartburn that will not go away. I try all the remedies. Soft wool on my abdomen. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. Suddenly I can't seem to take a deep breath. And I stagger to the wall of for support. What? What's happening? It hurts. Darkness quickly follows. I mean, we had a good life. Look at that. 59. Fair enough. Our daughter is almost... Four more years. She's almost there. This is going to be a turbulent time now. Let's slow this down big. And I always like to read the epitaph, so we will do as well. 
Empress Vladimir of Carpathia's soul has finally been cast to hell at 59 years of age. She died from stress. A zealous woman, she fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. She fought in eight of the greatest holy wars in recent history. Um, Empress Pravo Mila descends the throne, uh, possessing a mighty physique and exceptionally astute mind. Her rule is sure to span both song and tale. And we are, of course, at war. We are only favored... It doesn't really say here, but there we go. Okay, we'll, we'll pause immediately again. No player heir of our dynasty. Oh, look at that. Huh. So this is our heir, our half-sister. This needs to be our heir. Well, there's something to be done about that. Well, there isn't. I do not have a child that I can... Okay, listen, listen. After almost 13... Oh, no, after almost 500 years of playing this, there is a real chance now that we will lose. Right here. Right there. Well. 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 <laughs> Ooh, I am worried. I am worried indeed. But she's robust and intelligent. Child of a concubine, so not ideal. Our half-brother is our regent, as well as he should be. Okay, let's get our council back back in order. So this woman will absolutely be our counselor. And she will concentrate on domestic affairs. This is important. Put them on domestic affairs. She will improve vassal opinion within the realm. Helping you prevent problems. <laughs> big, big problems. You're a child. As a child, I can only sway people. So we'll try and do that. Let's see. I'll put her back in. Oh, no, 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 no. That would be a reassignment. We don't want to do that. So she's not great. We don't have a strong vassal who's good at this. She's great at being learned, you know? So, let's see. He would be a good spy master. And we'll sway him on our second sway. And he is definitely going to disrupt schemes. He needs to defend us. Let's see. <laughs> um, it's a fascinating game, but you don't think you'd be very good at it? Well, I say you're wrong on that. I think you would be very good at it. You would be at least as good as I am, and I'm decent enough to sit here and claim that I, I could teach you. That I could teach you how to play this game. With all that you're seeing right now, I could get you understanding all of what's on the screen right now. Because actually there isn't all that much on the screen. It just looks like a lot. Um, but I appreciate you for coming by anyhow. So have you ever played Crusader Kings 3? Or 2 or anything like it from the Paradox catalog basically? I think we have to make a bad choice here. It is a significant game, but I am that self-assured of this. Trust me. I need to put someone in that is good. Him. That's fine. You're a huge history buff, though. Ah, oh, then you got me beat on that. I ain't. I like history. I, I'm very interested in history, but I'm I'm horrible at retaining information, especially with like specific dates or anything. Uh, a minor I had in university was um, classical archaeology, and I sucked at it. I sucked so much, but I enjoyed it hugely. It was so fun to me, but I was really, really bad at it. Really bad, <laughs> because I never could remember any dates. And uh, that's kind of prerequisite there. Astonishingly enough, you need to know a few things to do that job. 
Uh, right, we're gonna put someone in who's halfway okay at it. Yeah, just this guy. It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, so we have to survive now. That's our thing. Right now we need to survive. That's all we got going for ourselves. We need to survive. Ah, very good. So we're sending our troops down south to join the crusade here. The thing is, how you get into these games is trial and error. You kind of failed. But something that Crusader Kings 3 does a lot better than Crusader Kings 2 is um, the nested tooltips. So just being able to understand what this is right in the game. Like uh, in Crusader Kings 2, I had to tub out Google everything for the first 50 hours or so. And I was just losing constantly until I figured it out. But here, you don't have to do that anymore. Everything you need to know is in the game, which I love. Uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate right now. So, Shadow of Fame, um, Twilight, we are in the shadow of the fame of our mother, right? So, there are some options here. And if it's green, highlighted green or red, doesn't really matter. If it's underlined, that's more information. So, I can just press the middle mouse button and look at the border of the tooltip there. I click this, the border is now thick. And as long as I don't hover over anything that has its own tooltip on the way here, it stays fixed. So now I get the tooltip on this so I can see, okay, this does that. And even if I don't understand, okay, what is stress? I can go here. Then, okay, what, what are personality traits? And, and so on and so forth. So if you are willing to read and take it slow and just really take it one step at a time, one event at a time, I think... Everyone has the potential, especially if you're interested in history, which already requires a lot of information, honestly. Uh, has the ab ability to get into this. And I think it is one of the very best games ever. Really. Because the stories this writes is complete insanity. Obviously, it's very not historically accurate, but uh, you, can, you can start... I never do it, but a lot of people enjoy it. You, you can start certain things... Hard game to run for PC. Um, more on the CPU than anything. So if you have a halfway decent CPU, you should be fine. It's It slows down toward the end, kind of, sort of. But it's as far as Paradox games are concerned, this, I think, is the most performant. Uh, it does the best. Let's see. Do we take this one? Stress gain, minus 10% stress, loss... But monthly prestige goes down. We do need prestige at the moment. Because our prestige directly correlates with how people view us. What they think of us. So one day I will be like you, Blahu Mira. We will try and be like our mother. Yeah, if you have a good processor, that's really most what you need. My graphics card, granted it's, it's a pretty decent one these days. But uh, it's mainly heavy on the processor. Is is mainly just all these calculations of how people interact with each other, how they how they feel about each other, and so on and so forth. Okay, do we continue the feud against the Byzantine Empire? Let's see. Stalwart family, the house has a reputation for giving as good as it gets in any dispute. Natural dread. Loses house feud. I think. I think Empress Pravomila is not going to carry on this uh, old feud. She'll still have an eye on the Byzantines. But I think we're done with the feud. I mean, it, it killed our mother. Literally. She died from stress out of this feud. Okay. Um, I have the Royal Edition, but you don't need that. You do not need any of the DLC... There are certain things here um, that you only get with the DLC, but I don't think you actually need any of them. You can play it just on the base version. Wait for a sale. Always wait for a sale. Never buy anything from Paradox outside of a sale. It's just too expensive. And trust the reviews on the DLC. If the reviews are mixed, then it might be interesting. If the reviews are worse, just ignore it for as long as you want, basically. Um... I personally have the Royal Edition and I have everything else because I'm a fan. Uh, like, this is my favorite game series these days. 
uh, because there's just nothing rivaling it. Ah, I mean, you could try, but uh, the next Steam sale is right around the corner, so maybe consider that. Uh, the story of this playthrough. Well, we started down here in Gamer, and we just grew as far as we could. And right now, I'm, I'm kind of trying to bring uh, the Servant of the Lamb religion to the Christian world, which is an offshoot of Christianity. But at the moment, things have shifted a little bit because the Byzantine Empire took a huge chunk out of our lands. They took Croatia, they took our Italian holdings, uh, they took some more of Bulgaria down here. And I don't like it. I don't accept it. We'll have to take it back eventually, but we are not in a position anymore to do so. Yes, the bloody Greeks. Generally, the Byzantine Empire would fall apart pretty early. But this one hasn't. This one has stayed quite strong. There's some things we could do. We could... Uh, well, at, at a point, we could have restored the Roman Holy Roman Empire. We could have. We might still. We only need three kingdom titles, which is not a problem for us. There are a lot of ones we didn't create. But at the moment, I have more issues. Okay, so we had 27% uh, war contribution, so we get a whole 40 prestige out of this war. Amazing. It's not a lot, but it is something. Okay, we're losing money now, which I don't like. So, reason we're losing money is because the church isn't paying their fair share. They're paying too little. So we'll have to work on her. You have been playing Kingdom Comes Delivery because uh, it's semi-historical. Well, I played that a little bit as well, but I'm not good at it, so I didn't quite enjoy it. But this... This is good. Trust me, you can learn it. Um, this video right now, or rather this stream, is part of a series um, I have several over on my YouTube channel where not so much here, not anymore, but in the other ones I have, I really try and explain everything I do and why I do it. And the first two episodes or something are always about the very basics, what you need to watch out for, what your goals need to be when you start the game. So you might want to go check that out. I don't trust tutorials which are just like, here are 10 things I wish I knew when I started out. Okay, those are fine if you already know what you're doing. But if you're a little bit more like me where you feel like, okay, great, now I know about troop composition and what do I do with it, you know? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <coughs> yeah, I don't, it, it doesn't help. You don't know the context of anything. Um, so that's how, how I approach teaching this. Uh, both I have the stream because if you start, you're totally welcome to drop by in the stream and ask all your questions. Like you're playing and you're like, okay, listen, right now I'm a duke and I just died and now my lands are split. What happened? I'm going to tell you because I know. And after I tell you, you might know as well, but not the first time. But if I tell you like three times, then you'll know. Eventually you'll know. And... Um, this is something I really like about Crusader Kings. It's it's very rule-based. It's very rule-based. So these things make sense. Um, by the way, the, the Carpathian Empire might be at, on his last legs right now. Because these factions here... We have two factions that can send their ultimatums. Uh, we have someone who wants to uh, put our brother, our half-brother on the throne. Which will beat us. All on their lonesome. Then we have these folk here, who want independence from me. Then we have these folk who want to reduce our crown authority. So, this is going to be horrible. I don't think we send our troops here. I think we need our, uh, our troops back home, defending here, right there. That's where we need our troops now. Our things in Jolly Old England. It worked out. They they won, but they didn't fight for, for land. They just wanted an artifact. They fools. But at least we have them, so they will come help us. But it's gonna be a mess in a moment. Trust me. A big mess. 
And I don't think our troops are going to be back quick enough. I'll spe speed up the game again. So these are the most dangerous times. As historically accurate. Successions are horribly dangerous. Let's see. I could take advantage here. Uh, we'll take advantage of the generosity. Alright. Didn't work out. That's fine. Uh, I don't care. So I don't read all the events anymore, really. Because very often there are things that I don't really care. Right now I'm just checking through here so the number goes away. Because in succession all your artifacts are remaining the same. Like this courtroom, this is a DLC thing. You wouldn't see that without the DLC. You wouldn't get that. Which is fine. You don't need it. It adds very little. It adds some flavor, it adds, adds some fun, but the overall game. But we're completely dead. Basically, we can nego negotiate some alliance, and we absolutely will do that uh, with some people inside our realm. So these two can't join factions and be part of the wars against us. They might be at the moment. Uh, she is, and our brother is too. So if they, and they will take the, um, the thing. So this immediately killed this faction, basically. Not killed it, but they can't attack us anymore. So it's one faction less that we need to deal with. So that can help. <laughs> Getting those internal alliances up. I didn't check it, but I should have. All right. So all these are raised but unstationed. That's fine. Okay, we'll just have to wait. So another thing I think about usual about tutorials, how they usually work, is they would talk you through all these things. Like, what is gold? What do you need gold for? What is prestige? What do you need prestige for? I don't do that. What I do is I talk about the things as they come up. And I don't need to look at all the events anymore. Sometimes I make a wrong choice because I don't look. Because I think I don't have to. Uh, but that's on me. But generally, you can um, eventually play similar. Where you don't have to read every event anymore. Because you just look at what is the outcome. But when you start out, I strongly recommend reading all the events. Because honestly, there's a lot of fun flavor text in there. There's a lot of really interesting things. Um, and also you will need to understand what's going on and why it's happening often. So that's better. Right now we're sending our troops back home because I'm expecting all those, uh, fools to rise up against us. But we have been spending a lot of time to build up our home base, uh, which is this county consisting of several baronies where we have some keeps and castles and stuff. And we are building these up and upgrading them as well. So, I'm not too worried. If the enemies come, attack us right at home, then that's the best outcome for us. Because that's where we're strongest. And they can't just take it. They will have to have big armies. At the moment, the crusade is still ongoing. So, I have a feeling we might be safe until this is done. So, I'm not too worried about that. But uh, since they can press their ultimatum very soon, these in seven months and... Okay, these can't anymore. They have been weakened, which is good. But these guys in seven months will press their uh, demand to install our half-brother on our throne. Let's see. He might gain some opinion of us. We'll take it. Doesn't matter. He would need to be our friend to not be in some faction against us, which we'll not get. Since we're a child. As a child, you're not allowed to have, ch uh, to have friends. Also, our matriarch hates us, so... We're not even endorsed at all anymore. That's bad. No, I don't... I don't... I will try to be nice. I don't want... I don't want to be a bully. So, some of these things you really don't need to understand. When I'm clicking through a bunch of stuff here, that's just kind of... Things that get me annoyed as well, so don't worry about it. I explain the things that are important. <laughs> and I answer any question you might have in terms of Crusader Kings 3 or, you know, D&D &D or <laughs> if you play that. Very good. So this has been upgraded to the highest level. We're nearing the end of this uh, 
world anyway. 1400. Our region is now more powerful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, this regency thing is a recent addition. And we can try and swing the scales with piety or money or whatever. Uh, we will spend some of our prestige to swing the scales back because we don't want our regent brother here taking over and uh, being the true leader in the land. Gonna try Baldur's Gate 3 at some point? I I strongly recommend. Even if you're never gonna play D&D. But I don't think it's that... Well, D&D also... Baldur's Gate 3 also has a similar system with sticking the tooltip so you can read further in. So, if it didn't have that, I wouldn't recommend it, I don't think. Because uh, if you don't know D&D, the rules, I think it's a little bit of a difficult game. It is a difficult game, even if you if you know the rules. So, don't play on hardest difficulty. I mean, if you're a veteran of uh, the older games from... What are they called? From them. Then knock yourself out, but... Let's see. Increase our marshal by one or our prowess by one. So, our prowess is pretty high. But our marshal could be higher. Yeah, very good. Take it easy, because it is it is a very fun game. I, I do have some of that on my channel as well. I, I live streamed a little bit of over on YouTube, but I stopped because all the people that were watching it were falling behind on me on the story. And I just felt like I don't want to keep up with spoilers. I think I'm gonna do a playthrough in a in a year or two when when there are few fewer people left to spoiler. So we're not gonna have this duel. We'll have a mock uh, battle. I want the see. Okay, so we have prowess and we have martial. Prowess is how good we do in a direct fight, mano a mano. Or lady, uh, lady. But martial is how you deal overall with your troops. Like, army gold maintenance is affected by this, which is important. Army toughness is affected. All of these are uh, affecting your army directly. So I'd rather take the martial here. Even though she loses some uh, opinion of us. But now we're having 2% less gold maintenance. It was 1% just a moment ago. While... One extra point here, where we already have excellent prowess, wouldn't have mattered much. So our troops are back home. Uh, this army is now a full army. This is our men-at-arms, so basically a retinue. And we have eight levies standing around. And some of our knights. Hybrid culture formed, we don't care about that all that much. So I'm just kind of standing here and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> if we stood down our army, it would be a little bit better for us. Do I have any war contribution here? No, I have zero. This time I actually didn't help. Not at all. But I'm thinking that the second the Holy War is over, which is in a moment, and they're actually winning for once. Like, this is the 12th Crusade ever since the Crusade started, and they're 99%. You need 100. Ah, there we go. Okay. There we go. So... The right to rule Carpathia belongs to Laromir by divine right, and we have gathered the support required to make it so. Accept is fact peacefully, or, you know. So, yeah. Uh, I will not be threatened. So they will now attack us. We are now at war. And immediately pause and we slow down the game. That's always what you need to do. Slow down the game. If something bad happens, always slow down the game. And now we will call in our allies. We'll call in our brother. Which I can call in because he's also a member of a dynasty. You can't call in external internal allies. So if they're part of your realm, you can't call them in. Unless they're also your dynasty member. And we can call in dynasty members that aren't anywhere in our realm. To help defend... This will cost us Renown. Which isn't so bad. Because our Splendor is pretty high anyway. It's the highest that we can be. So we, we are fine losing that. But we might want to focus on the ones that actually bring a lot of troops first. So this guy here. We'll bring him in. This guy. Like these might not 
be the deciding factors, but honestly, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps in such a situation. There's some more house members we can call in. The world will run red with the blood of these traitors. But that's a big, horrible little thing now. All of this red stuff, that's our enemies. And they're raising their armies right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack them immediately. Because while they're being raised, they can't run away. Let's move a flag over here, and we'll raise the rest of our armies right now. So we can have a maximum of 31,000. No prisoners. I hope we'll take some prisoners, honestly. That might help us. Okay, we're not going to catch them. They're running away. Now we're going to get a lot of messages on... Yeah, yeah, we're going to come. We're going to come. Don't worry. Okay, someone made themselves our steward and we can't fire them. So since I'm not going to catch that army, I'd rather move our army to start sieging something. And we'll just stay here, right there. We'll let them come to us. And we'll try and catch whoever attacks us. Whoever comes for us directly, we'll try and fight. Uh, we definitely need to organize our army, which we're doing. The main problem right now is money for us. Because this, this will ruin us quickly. We can't wage a long war. Our allies, might, uh, our enemies might be able to. And now that we are weakened, other factions are also looking to attack us more. Okay, let's see. What do we want to be? Do we want to be paranoid? Stress gain, 100%. Uh, no. I know a lot of people love paranoid. I think we'll just go with shy. Shy isn't great. It isn't great, but none of these options are. We don't want to be Craven. Craven is very bad. I think we'll just go with... Uh, we'll just go with Shy. Sometimes you only have the choice between bad things. Sometimes that's all you get. Nothing to be done about it. So, let's continue on. During wars, I strongly suggest, especially early on, um, don't play on too high of a speed. Things happen very, very quickly. And they're going to be bad for you most of the time. I'm mainly worried about our money. That's the main problem we have right now. I think we'll start swaying her. Because we need her support. We need her money. It's not going to change all that much. But it'll change some. Okay, now we bring our troops. Okay, our allies are doing some bad things here. They're, they're being caught out in bad positions. They're being destroyed. So we're trying to prevent that. We might catch one of our enemies. I don't think we will. So this army isn't good. This is just our peasantry. But I want to finish one siege here. Because we need the gold. Basically. Where is this? Uh, this is over in Poland, basically. Let's see. Try and catch our enemies best we can. Alright, thank you so much for joining tonight. I hope you ever get into it. <coughs> Grander rank increased, very good. So we destroyed the enemy here. Up there is a nice big army. We don't need to win, we just need a white piece. That's all. I'll try and white piece out because we don't have the money for a prolonged war. 
We might be able to catch the enemy. That would be lovely. For sure we'll try. If we can get them split up, that's ideal. Yeah, we'll catch them split up. The names are pretty Polish, yeah. I mean, we did start down here in Gamer, but we moved up eventually to greener pastures. Okay, is this a white piece already? No, nope, not yet, but we're close. So now we're just gonna crush this army down there. They will get together and they are fighting in mountains, but we're all mountain experts down here, so it's not it's not so bad. Let's see. I think we'll take her on or him. Now he's an acclaimed knight. He needs to do acclaimed knight stuff. Let's put him in. Her, excuse me. But we gotta win this quick. Because we're we're struggling for money. That's our main concern right now. We need to finish this war so we can stand down our troops. We'll catch this army out. So they will attack us. We are in their lands, so despite us being the defender in the position, basically, they get the defender advantage, but we have the numbers. Okay, we'll white piece out immediately, just because we can't afford it, that's all. We could win, we could get a better deal, but uh, not with the time that we are allotted. So immediately we need to stand down our troops, which is bad for us. It's really bad right now. But we have no choice. We have to send them down. Luckily, um, getting this faction done with also means they can't join any others. And I think they were propping up potentially other factions. Not sure. Very good. Okay, so our internal domestic affair thing is yielding some results. But of course, having all these people... Unhappy again. Ah, we might need to deal with that eventually. Let's uh, let's go and put these unstationed troops in in stations. So plus zero point four per day. I'd rather see what we have at the moment. Plus twelve, plus eleven, plus five, plus now. Nah, okay, so far the light infantry was best. So I think, I think we'll put the light, no, uh, the heavy infantry was good. We'll put them here. It's not super ideal, but now that we have stations somewhere that we can specialize in that direction. Try and build things that help them. So we have heavy infantry here, so we would want to go for something that favors heavy infantry, of course. If there even is such a thing. Could also build something that focuses on siege with one of our newer castles coming up soon. But for the moment, it's all good. So we don't have any factions sitting in our neck anymore, which is good. One destroyed rebellion can really help in this. Uh, we could imprison all these criminals as well, but since they can't really join factions anyway, I'd rather not. They're not going to come quietly and thus, you know... It's a bit of a problem. We can't kick him out. He got weaseled into his job. So, but we could replace her with... Do we have a strong vassal who's good at this? No, none of them. So we'll leave them in. The strong vassals that rebelled against us, they don't get a choice now. Okay, we can't put them in. All these people weaseled their places. At least our, our matriarch is coming around to us. So that wasn't as bad as it could have gone, I'd say. I'd say that could have gone way, way worse. <laughs> so we're getting uh, not very close to having... I mean, we have a chance right now to contribute something to the crusade, but we're not going to get anything out of it. No matter our war contribution, because we're not actually 
uh, part of the Catholic faith, and apparently you need to be. We have been winning a bunch of these in the past, and we never got anything out of it, so I kind of stopped. Kind of stopped doing it. All right, the Byzantine Empire is struggling with something. Ah, it's just a peasant rebuilt. That's not going to do anything. Okay. We stop having a crush on this lad. Ah, oh, well. We're maturing. Does that mean I grew up? A little bit. Who's teaching me? Who's teaching me here? Like, there's no one good at what we need to be. Ah, uh, so we'll just take anyone. We'll take our our lad here. Our physician and everything. So in the past, what I've done to weaken factions was just check like this dude. Duchy of Yezidan. What the heck is that? What do you belong to? Who's your rightful leash? Why are you my dude? So now we know there's the Kingdom of Saphorizia. Or the Empire of Khazaria. Kingdom of Saphorizia doesn't exist. We can't create what well, we could create it, but we don't really want to spend the money here. So what instead we're going to do is we're going to look at this lad and see, okay, he has barely anything. So what we're going to do is we'll just grant him that vassal. Now that strengthened him in turn. But it also gets that dude out of our council and out of this faction. So we're just looking at the people that are uh, part of factions. That are potentially part of a kingdom that isn't ours. So the kingdom of White Rus. Which doesn't exist either. So we might as well just give them ideally to Lithuania. Because why? We are allied to them. Might as well give them that. I don't care. They're taking care of us. So now we have two more court positions that we can fill. Easy peasy. We can put her in. And there's still no one good here. So we'll just put him in because he likes us well enough. I think he was one of those people raising against us. Let's put him to train our commanders instead. So that's quite important. We could grant these rightful vassals and all that kind of stuff, but I don't I don't want to empower our uh, vassals at this point any further than we need to. But we can look at all these silly little fools helping grow those uh, factions here. So, for example, like, who's this? You. You get Ferrara. Why are these people not your vassals anyway? They should be. So we're just going to do that. She gets all these fools. Pisa. I don't care. So that helps us. Diminish these factions. This one here, where's that? That's somewhere here. That's another one for you. Enjoy. Again, you're making them stronger. So it can be a different problem. In the end. But... If there's no faction, then there's no problem. Okay, we lost our chancellor now. Very good. Because we can put this lady in. Reassign her. She's actually really, really good for this. And we can put our court physician and teacher and everything put on that chair there. Concubine child and scaly. Now, the fertility is a bit of a problem for us. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. If we got any questions, just ask them to chat. I'll get around to all of them. Eventually. I try. I uh, should drink something. Two hours. I haven't drunk in a drop of water. Let me, let me, let me take care of that real quick. All right. Victorious Crusade. Very good. Good stuff. What's this? Cruel upbringing. This character has was raised in distrust and cruelty. Hostile scheme success chance was five. I mean. 
Harsh punishment. Our father, cousin, and knight. All right. Yeah, he he destroyed our wooden warrior. I mean, we get the stress. We'll take it. Let, let's get a f rivalry with our father. And you are trying to leverage your way through the scales of power here again, huh? Well, we'll spend some of our prestige to push that back. Try and stop this silliness. And this is the 12th crusade now. Or 13th. I, I've lost track. But of course we'll pledge. We'll pledge that we'll come. It's a true lemon pledge. Let's appoint a beneficiary. The princess here. That's all very good. All very fun. All very fine. All good. Huh. So, what if your region becomes level 6? Diox can issue an ultimatum to the liege demanding permanent transfer of rule. If they can convince the majority of the liege's powerful vassals. So, it's a dangerous thing. What's this? Okay. Let us tilt. Yeah, we'll we'll tilt a little bit. 99% chance we lose some stress. But she got wounded a little bit. So sorry. Okay. Let's see how this one plays out. So we do it some more. And you jousted with great skill, Isabel. Let's let's go for that. So we become a jousting prodigy. Giving us some stuff, which isn't bad. But also it pushes us closer to a friendship with her. So what can you do at the moment? County modifier. Okay. The entrenched regency needs the region's consent to be dismissed. Okay. So he can be like, nah, I'm good. I'll remain regent. Let's see. Okay, no. Uh, this victory is enough. We're not going to push our luck further. We're not going to sway more. None of these options were good for us. Oh, let's go meet our peers. For 65 gold. We can do that only as a child. Basically. So let's go do that. <sighs> We're no longer being tutored. He died. It was the only sensible for this position, honestly. Well, he can do it as well. Should he tutor me? No, I don't I don't want to grant him a pardon. Ah, it's fine. We don't need a tutor. We'll be fine. Some factions are being disbanded against us. Very good. Like that. Who is this fool? Someone over there. I don't care. Uh, you. This is now your vassal. Enjoy. Good luck. Uh, ransom. Yes. Thank you. Give me money. I take it. So the church is slowly starting to pay their share again. Just good. And our castles are... Well, they're still building. Wild Heart Height was destroyed. Yeah, I don't care. There's so many artifacts that we have. So he's leveraging all these... Things. He's just hitting out at everyone else around him. Very good. So... I've completed my studies of stewardship. Even if the highest aspect of the subject eludes me, I lived up to everyone's expectations. Yeah, we're pretty good. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about the people who have made impact on me. On the woman I have become. 
The friendship I shared with Helgi meant a lot to me when we were both young, and I still have him by my side. It means a lot. As some memorable times with Helgi, he truly helped me understand both myself and love. We are heterosexual, and we're starting out here. So let's end the entrenched regency. He will not accept. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to swing those scales further. But now, for the moment, uh, we need to check a lifestyle tree and we'll go with stewardship. Because that's where we have the most input. We can later, if we unlock all of them, switch elsewhere, but this will be fine. Um, and I think we're going to go with enemy agent acceptance plus five, uh, minus five, stewardship, courtier, and guest opinion plus 20. I think we'll go with this one, the duty focus, because oh, we'll need it. We'll need the people on our side. And we'll go with administrator probably, which we're following the steps of our mother, but, but they're good steps. So, what happens on decline? Uh, okay. We'll discharge him. He has to go. Okay, he created a cadet branch. He dislikes us now. Fair enough. But I'm done with that. So, where's our spouse? There he is. Emperor Matthew. Okay. He's working on chivalry. I think he might actually be good at assisting ruler. No. Uh, I think we'll push our main trait high. But then again, the chivalry, honestly, we I think we need that. We need that to push our army size. We're at an activity already. Wait, I can still do this? I mean, we started before I came of age. Four months until it begins. Oh god. Can I stop this? I can't stop this. I have to do it. Great, this blocks us for a while now. Radovan has become our spy master. He cannot be fired. Well, that's what he thinks. Let me show you. Let me show you how we fire him. Oh, would you look at that? I have an open council position. That is just crazy how this happens. Let's put the guy who schemed against us. That's he he's the right lad. Uh and let's try and befriend him. 87% chance. Early friendships now. We have a long reign ahead of us. The Byzantine Empire isn't forgotten. And what they did. What happened here now? Zensir. Okay. Okay. So, this is what you got out of the crusade? This? I have no idea what that crusade was for. Uh, sure. I'll take the ransoms. Thank you. He want to give us a concubine. Um, all right. Who? This guy would serve us well as a concubine. No, he would not. Look at him. He's nothing. But we should definitely get on getting ourselves concubines. Uh, maybe not our uncle, cousin, and knight, because that's a little bit of a problem in terms of inbreeding. We don't want inbreeding. Um, but we mainly have to choose from our prisoners here. Prince Polan of Pomerania. I mean, he isn't great. Norbert of Wittelsbach. Sure. Let's go. Let's take him as a courtier. We just need children. That's really all we need. I think we will take our uncle cousin at night. Inbred is a chance, but we share a good 
many of the same traits, so let's take this knight as well. Doesn't matter. Welcome, let's start our little get together here with our peers, apparently. And we just turned 16, so. And we've already broken a whole royal rebellion against us. Already taken care of all the other things. The quadruple fool. Uh, nah, we'll be more quiet. Some chance of increasing our diplomacy. Failed, but I do not despair about such trifling matters. Let's see. I order you to return the ball, Kerr. 50% chance to increase our stewardship. I'll go with that. That didn't work out. Ah, we lost the concubine. Probably to old age. Yeah, he died. So let's get the other acclaimed knight in here. Ah, we increased our marshal by one. Very good. Was a good idea to start this. Uh, I can manage things from here. So the crusade has started. And since we are not looking at any meaningful potential uprisings anymore, I think we'll go there. Uh, if it's just to, you know, nip at the edges again. Just nip at the edges. So we'll raise our troops here and we'll only go with the local army. That'll be just fine. We'll switch our marshal over to organize the army to reduce the cost of our standing army. And now we'll drink some water, finally. Let's see what's going on here. Please stay, increase diplomacy by one. Eh, let's, let's go with this. Increase diplomacy by one. Very good. It was a sensible thing to start this. And we can already send them off. We don't need to wait for them to fully raise. Let's find what we're here for in this area. So I think... I will just go straight for this and get destroyed there. We'll see. Oh, we're pregnant. Very good. Not from our husband, but someone anyway. I don't want to crush. In singular focus. General opinion minus five plus one learning. <sighs> Fine, let's have a crush then. We can't afford opinion. Negative me opinion modifiers. It's just not feasible for us. Uh, let's lead our troops ourselves so we get the Crusader trade super early. Which is pretty good to have. Let's check the factions. Ah, uh, these are just kings now, that's fine. So these guys aren't my du jour vassals. Meaning, they don't actually be... Oh, actually, no, they are. <laughs> I thought, maybe. I thought, maybe. Forget what I just said. Ignore me. At least on this one bit. We don't have a court physician. Oh no. Let's put in a Julian Smnicky. One of our kinsmen. And we need an antiquarian, which will also be him. Generally, they kind of are pretty much the same. So meritocracy doesn't do much for us early because there's no throne for us to claim. We already have it. Don't think I have forgotten. Also, a very low chance. Very low chance. I'll come back to you guys. For now, we will be the first Crusaders to set a foot. Well, maybe not the first, but among the first. Ha, huh, that venomous fool. We become rivals? No. 
Let's see. I shall write to Anastasius at once. Our letter might soften him or we become rivals. Do we want to be rivals with the Pope? Well, that answers that question. We don't get a choice. And he gets a pressed claim on the Empire of Carpathia. Uh. What? Okay. Well, the Pope has to go now. We can't attack him while we are in a war with him as an ally. But once this crusade is done, uh, we're coming for him. I don't think he has many allies. And he himself is fairly weak. So, we'll take the papacy. We'll take the Pope. Can you stop swinging them scales? We need a different regent. I can't really decide who that is. Alright, so we're just here to siege. I'm not here to battle, I'm here to siege. So it takes a while leading troops in the Holy Land to get the Crusader trait. Might even be part of a battle, I don't know. Let the traitor be known to all. I mean, yeah, sure. Let's throw him to jail. Okay, so there is the enemy blob. It arrives now. Question is, will we finish our siege before the enemy blob hits us? It will hit us. Make no mistake. But it will hit the Pope first and his armies. And they're gonna lose. Now these, interesting enough, these are hostile. These are not actually enemies in the war. And there are more crusaders doing weird, weird things down there. Okay, let's end this. Stop it. This time he'll just accept. Very good. New castles have been built just now. But we are about to get bash. No. Muslims turned around. Okay. They will just allow me to siege this? No. Now they come. Very good. Our player, heir, and son, Ladislav. He's robust, he's intelligent, but he's also a little bit scaly. Well, time to get us a new alliance power thing. West Francia, Burgundy. Hmm. I think we'll go with West Francia. There's at least hail in there. Come on, let's finish this before we get crushed. And now we have another ally on our end. Very good. Come on, come on. Let, let's finish this. Please, please, please be done before we get killed. No. But we might win this battle, actually. I mean, we haven't lost it yet. And it's going our way, but once this appears we're, we're we're very much done for I don't care will we get to finish this before they come okay that was crazy we're leaving I'm not taking any chances of getting a repeat on that one That was silly. That should never have happened the way it just happened. And we got this guy here. Let's check real quick if he's not an important prisoner. No, there are no important prisoners. Our war contribution is 80%, which will result in nothing. Trust me. Because this is completely broken. For us anyway. Not generally, but for us. Let's get those ransom gold coins in here. So I'm just very quickly running away because I don't think we'll ever get that chance ever again. What worries me a little bit is that we haven't gotten the Crusader trait yet.
Maybe we have to actually land where where we're fighting for. So we'll do that. We'll lose. We'll pretty much immediately be bonked about by this army there. But I want that Crusader trade. That's what we're coming for here. Let's ransom some more people before we ourselves become prisoner. Yeah, okay. So we don't see the enemy anymore, but we know they're there. We know they're coming. And we're not going to get away. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. What do you want? No. Stop. No. Go away. I just took the one that has the greenest thing that doesn't annoy me the most. Alright, our army was completely obliterated, which is both good and bad. We lost our marshal as well. Oh, dearie me. Let's put him in. And we lost the steward. What's going on? Um, we're not going to reassign. We're going to assign this guy. At least we weren't taken prisoner, so that's nice. So we have to wait for this war to be over, which is very soon. King Matthew becomes our friend because he learned our language. That's good. He's our ally and friend up there in England. So we're allied with some important people around here. Another faction. Okay, I don't care. Well... I care a little bit. What the heck is this? Ah. You are my direct vassal, are you not? I can have another holding, you know. Um, that maybe is not your best idea. Let's do this. Convince de jure territory. So this is... This should be mine, de jure. And so it is. It's part of my duchy. So he will try and convince her. What? Convince the your territory. Okay, he's not switching. Yes. Thank you, Queen. Uh, right, then we'll do that. Now. Yeah. We're going to create a claim on this and we'll just take it. We could revoke it, but it's tyranny and we can't afford everyone to hate us. Basically. But next we're going to go for the papacy once this crusade is done. Okay, we couldn't befriend this lad, but uh, let's check the rest of our court here. That's all pretty good. She's 44. That's okay. Why didn't befriend work on you, huh? Let's see, let's befriend her. 36% chance. Okay. Maybe not befriend her. Let's befriend people where it's actually having... Honestly, let's look at our vassals here. We need to have some friends here. Okay, so very good. Um, this is done. 17% chance. Ugh. 16% chance. 65% chance that our brother becomes our friend, which doesn't help us much because he already, you know, he's fine with us. But. Uh, seize all de jour lands. All of this is de jour ours. We'll take it now. Thank you. We'll take the papacy. The papal throne. With a green banner. The banner of peace. So we'll raise all here. And immediately we're going to dismiss this army. Because I don't want to actually raise all our troops. And it might have been a mistake. Because they are very close. So they might rump all over us. Let's see. Will they attack us? I'm not helping you. I'm coming for you. Okay. 
He's making different choices with his life. Uh, we'll stop gathering here. And we'll stop gathering here. What I want is my men at arms. That's who I need for this. And we'll take him out. As best we can. Three months until our men at arms are there. Oh, good god. I mean, we could already start this. It's not gonna work very well, anyway. We have someone leading this. It is a siege dude who's leading, which is good. But our men at arms are taking forever to come in on. Thinking of attacking him directly, but we'll see. Once our men in arms are fully raised and in that siege, it should go quick. How's our fascination coming along? Plate armor, 11 years. We'll get there. Stewardship. Um, domestic affairs efficiency plus 25%, which is what we're currently doing. So that's good. Let's make sure we got the right commander in here, our marshal. So we are likely to win our siege before he does. And then we can march on him. A faction has been created against us, of course it has been. So you raise some more troops, most likely mercenaries. You can find out by looking here, and he has indeed 7,000 mercenaries. Which I don't mind. We'll kill them all the same. Okay, what do you mean pending? I don't care. Start some murder scheme. The scheme gains extra success chances. He's a superstitious man. Okay. Doesn't cost us anything. We'll start that. No, I think we'll stop it. It doesn't have a high chance of success anyway. So, right now, we are fighting him as a defender. Because he was sieging our stuff. And when we come to lift the siege on our stuff, we become the defender. That was different in Crusader Kings 2. I, I recently watched some videos on uh, tips for Crusader Kings 3 stuff in you. I'm already doing my part to fight the infidels. Trust me, my dear Pope. I'm fighting you. And people still get this wrong. Ah, it was exposed. Well, then we abandon it. And we go and attack Roma now. The holy city. We'll try and catch the armies where we can. So right here, we are going to be the defender because we have sieged this. And it is ours. We were also defender here because it was ours. He is the attacker in both instances. We don't have the ideal commander for this, but doesn't matter. We don't need an ideal commander. And we'll immediately follow up here because that's likely where he's going to go anyway. I'll just go siege Roma down. He might attack us. If he does, good on him. God will judge these sinners. I don't care. Uh, what we can do, because we have a large army, we're just going to split it. Take the army that does not have our trebuchets and fight them. Because we only need our siege army sieging. The other army can just go kill them. 
of papal armies. Another faction created against us. Well, well, well. So we'll just keep hounding them. While our main army is doing their stuff. His crusade is starting right now, I think. No concern of ours. The way I can tell is that suddenly there's all these armies springing up everywhere. That's generally what happens during a crusade. But there won't be any papal armies. No, sir. None of that. Papal armies have just been crushed. We lost a counselor. Our stewards keep dying like flies. It's kind of silly. Let's put our antiquarian in there in hopes that he doesn't also die like a fly. Oh, we made a friend. Very good. Our half-brother, our regent, our strong vassal. He's a friend of ours. He still hates us. Make no mistake, he hates us. But, such is life as a vassal. So can we try and befriend him? No. Still on cooldown. 19%. It's just not good. 60%. I'll take those chances. Let's see. Will we capture the Pope? Yep. Okay, we'll enforce our demands. So now the Pope is our vassal. We could attempt to imprison him, giving us tyranny. We could tell him to stop his vassal war. We, we can demand the Pope not... Okay. So what we're going to do now... We're going to go convert... The faith in this county. Can I demand conversion from the Pope? He will not convert, he is a religious head. Slavomir might become our lover. Is he any good? No. We'll set aside these childish thoughts. He's a married man now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You can hate us all you want. He's probably going to join factions, which is cute. The Pope will join factions against us. I'll convert the heck out of this place. Ah, uh, sure. I'll let go some people. Especially the ones that give us money. That's who we're gonna get freed here. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have some money and we have some trebuchets that need a place to go. So let's upgrade some stuff here, build some stuff. This will be our trebuchet place, so workshops will build. And this here, we just upgrade the castle itself first. What is this? Could seize all the Jura lands. How does he have 20,000 troops? The Duke of Kent. My, my. Some of these lower people are... Ah. Uh, City of Kreshemesh. City of Lippa. I don't care about any of these. Are these mine? No. None of these are mine. Uh, city of where's this somewhere down here I don't care the request is granted for God I'll take your money thank you so now we can go upgrade again <laughs> but first I want to upgrade all of our castles that's my main concern here oh 
All of these need to be level 4. Everything else can wait. Same goes for our new castles. Very expensive, but it's absolutely worthwhile. Gives us a lot of income, a lot of troops. Our castles are literally the seats of our power. So while everyone is going on the crusade, we could just go bang some heads in. Oh, would you look at that? Would you quite look at this? This dear little duke here has a nice little claim there. Which I think will press. Bavaria has been independent long enough. Bavaria belongs into the fold. For sure. So we'll raise all here. And again, we don't want to raise absolutely everyone. So we'll take some of these down. Right away. And you stay on this. Soon this will be very expensive. So how many troops do you bring? 22,000. It's about what I have here. So we'll just go fight him in our lands. Because he thinks he can attack us here. Now, we would cross a river here attacking but I don't mind it we'll attack the weakest army because there's a chance we'll have it nice and well broken up before he ever gets around and we'll lead them ourselves this is dangerous of course but we are the best commander for the job at the moment okay so we'll catch one of his troops bad for him he turns to attack us now bad for us okay we're losing. Yep, we're losing. It's, it's, it's difficult to tell, but we're losing. Uh, he is much, much better commanders. No question about that. Uh, but he's winning. So we'll raise some more troops because we'll need to turn this around. I think I didn't get all of my uh, all of my men at arms. That that seems to be the problem there. I mean, it's super equal right now. But if we can get some troops in there, we're gonna win it. But I don't think we will. And right now he's taking uh, the upper hand clearly because we're losing troops heavily. Now the problem is if we jump in right now, uh, we might still lose. So, okay. Quite know where we're going, I think, here. So that's bad. That's bad. Come on. Move, 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 move. Sometimes the move command just doesn't do what you would like it to do. Factions are being created and disbanded. Up, down, up, down. Happens. I would like to lead personally again. Why can't I? Oh, why is my skill so low all of a sudden? Well, it doesn't matter. We're winning this one. No problem. And a new faction was created against us. Oh, well. Okay, this should never have been so difficult. Really shouldn't have been. Okay, where do I need to go to get through here? There, maybe. We'll need to get these baronies. So whatever we take from him is going to be good for us. Whereas he will take... He will need to take a lot from us. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to create a siege army. So we're going to take this army and just throw some levies at it. Until we have like, I don't know, 6,000 or so. Like this. I'll put in a siege commander like that. And we'll take the other army and send it back over the border to repel the enemy. 
if if he comes out here, we're gonna fight him again. But we don't need all these men to siege. We are pregnant once again, very good. And let's go with likable. We want that vassal opinion. We want people to love us, like us, be happy with us. That's what we want. We're still dealing with factionism. I think we could give them a few more levies. Oh, look at that. Enemy has reappeared. And it's an equal fight. Uh, let's put our brother in. He is a better leader than us. So... Why would this be an equal fight? Okay, we can just stare at each other. I don't mind. You're not doing anything right there. We're both losing troops. Because neither side here has actually... Any advantage in terms of uh, support? Supplies? So while we look at each other, very angrily, our troops will finish the siege in the north. So he can't attack us across the river into mountains. That's bad for him. I could. But it's not good for me either. I mean, we, we would win. Probably. I don't know. We'll just push a little bit further here. I mean, right now we have a winter commander. So attacking in winter would make sense. But attacking into mountains, not the smartest idea. We'll do it. As long as we have the winter advantage. So he obviously, his main concern is supply. Let's see. My courtier Julian has insisted on seeing me. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll enter the royal court, sure. What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd love a fe feline companion. Thank you so much. Let's hold some court as well before people get upset. First petitioner, please. Thank you. No. 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 I'm not spending money. Can't you see what we're doing? Uh, let's see. Weapon span. Now keep your swords. Open weapon carry permit. Everyone, let's go. What do you want? The end is nigh. Judgment is upon us. Burn the rev, 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 raving heretic. Let's do it. Let's get some business done here. We are known for our faith for burning the heretic. Okay, cat name. Chat, you got a cat name? Got a cat name for me? Doesn't look like it. Well then, it'll be... It'll be... Spotu... Spotu. Just Spotu. Spotu the cat. You have heard of Spotu the cat? Don't pretend you haven't. Everyone has heard of Spotu. Let's go pet Spotu a little bit. Thank you, my friend. Very good. Our army was victorious. We will now split them further so we can try and take on some supplies. We'll have to split them even further. Actually, we'll get out of those mountain regions. Not very good for supply around there. So these sh 
should be taking on again. Yep, very good. Very good. Our new son and heir, Ladislav. He is also a bit of a scaly boy. Ah, it's a big shame. Let's get us some alliance power. West Francia. Yeah. Kingdom of Germany. Maybe. But I think we'll go with... Don't we already have West Francia as our ally? Could strengthen the ties, but... Let's go with the German princess here. You should be taking on supplies you are. So we need to be a little bit careful with our troops so split and gathered, uh, scattered. Always a chance he might jump our very weak siege army. No, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with this. Can't spend money right now. Okay. So I'm a little bit weary as to where to go. So what we're gonna do... Is we're bringing these troops here a little bit closer. Just so then not that terribly far away when and if the enemy shows themselves again. But we'll still keep an eye on the supplies. I just don't want to be crushed all of a sudden. That's all I'm trying to avoid. Yes, Queen Cornelia. Thank you. That's appreciated. I'm not coming to your crusade. You can do your own crusade. I don't care about your stuff. Time for more army splitting. Always make sure you're taking on supplies and not losing them. Ah, oh, nice. Got a friend. Let's see who's the next vassal who needs to be our friend. Pope, clearly. Zero percent chance to befriend him. It's crazy. I like that he's a powerful vassal and he isn't even my uh, my court um, my court priest. <laughs> he isn't even my patriarch. He's the pope yet. He's not. Which I think is just quite fantastic, honestly. <laughs> Alright, everyone is taking on supplies. You can either resupply in your own lands or you can resupply in lands that you have successfully besieged. So our enemy again decides to attack us. Alright. Don't care about the scheme, so we'll just bring our fighting army together. Again, these are only have siege and a few knights. So we'll bring our army to actually really take him on together and send them south. I don't like where he's going. He might be running all the way around here. So we're not going to pursue him any further. We're going to go toward our own troops. What we're trying to accomplish right now is we want to work our way here. So I think we'll just send them right there. Yeah, looks like what's happening. Might be a bad situation, but our troops are on their way, so... Should turn out fine. Yep. See, this was almost smart, I think. Pulling us around there and then getting back in here. I'm fairly impressed. Alright, so we can use our large army again. 
Move it off here. Somewhere to the side. This has a supply limit of 18,000. Okay, that's cool. So we just basically have to split off a few levies. Well, a bunch of levies. Like so. Send them here. We'll keep the stronger part of our army closer. And maybe we have some good fortune. And taking him on here. If we get to his capital, there's always a good chance of capturing them. And we're pregnant yet again. Let's see, is there something interesting here? A fine spear, yeah. It's interesting because we don't need it. And a keepsake Swabian battle axe, also don't need it. If I weren't at war, I would start preparing some stuff. But as it so happens, we are at war. So I will not be repairing any stuff. Alright, the enemy is doing his thing again. But we have reached our goal here. Being able to push forward. So either he comes and stops us. Or he loses capital in a moment. But I think he's coming to stop us. Or, well, he's going to try and stop us anyway. We'll just put our armies together. Okay, he's not coming to stop us. He might try and take something that we took, but it's okay. Right now we have fairly decent supply. So we'll just finish this siege and then we crush him there while he tries to retake his lands. Oh, okay, that's not good. The Pope with some peasants. Interesting. Interesting move. We'll see about that. Alright, sadly we did... Well, we did get a good prisoner there. Oh, they're sieging crazy fast. What the hell? I mean, an occupied siege is never as strong as... Um, as a true holding. So, no. Go away. Have your crusade, you fool. But still, that was lightning fast. Servants of the Lamb, Holy Order founded. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. Might this be the first Holy Order of our, of our faith? Okay, we'll just retake this. That should be done then. And I hope this is quick. Because it was very quick for him. I mean, 20 days left. Uh, it's just 300 people there. They didn't leave many. And that should finish it. There we go. So now we can disband everyone. And Bavaria is now in the fold. And we'll immediately go ahead and try and befriend him. Uh, once we're done with befriending that person. So he's a zealot. He's a good lamb man. And we have another son. Oh, he's inbred though. Oh boy. Have a child with the inbred trait. I never had this achievement until just now. So uh, good on us. We definitely need more. More children now. Uh, I mean, we can designate our heir still, so we... It's fine. Council opinion, plus 20. We'll take it. Is free. It's 
So Bavaria strengthens us a little bit. Byzantine Empire is struggling some stuff. No, he just really isn't. Why does this always look like there's something going on? Ah, our cat brought us some gold. We love it. Sure, I'll pay the ransoms. Or have ransoms paid to us. Let's see. Eh, sock it. Nothing to worry about at the moment. We have too few concubines, though. That is, of course, of grave concern. I could just ransom everyone bulk. That would work, but... I like looking at them like this. Okay. Could take some prisoners as our concubines. It's very suboptimal. Uh, I mean, he's okay. Not great. Let's demand his conversion there. The options are just not amazing. I must say. All right. Got a bunch of ransoms out there. Italy is facing a bit of a rebellion there. Not so good. How's your faction, my dear Pope? Well, not going great, is it? Okay, England is calling us to war. For what? Claim on the Mormerdon of Dunbar. Alright. So you wanna what? You want this county. This whole county is what you want. Fine. <sighs> Do I feel like sending anyone? I don't know. I think I'll make this choice another time. Because uh, for today, yeah, we're three hours in now. Let me check. What was I scheduling for today? Well, I'll, I'll think about it for a moment. Did our husband just die? No, he's incapable. Oh boy. I'll be I'll be right back. Give, give, give me a moment. I'll uh I gotta go use the bathroom. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Boop. I'll be right back.
All right then. So I want to check the unite the Slavs thing again. Clicking on it. <sighs> so all we need to unite the Slavs is chunks out of the Byzantine Empire. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. What are the contested titles anyway? Like just a few bishoprics. The Jure lands, this is nothing. No one has any sensible claims here. Ah, oh, the Pope's back to his business. Could imprison him. I cannot. I mean, I just need to wait for him to do his little rebellion there. That's all I need to do. And this guy, you're 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 serious right now. You're serious. You're getting in on a faction. Okay. Well, you're a good steward, so I think maybe we can have a job for you. Let's see. Can't. Because I'm blocked from removing this duchess. Okay. Why do these people keep getting their jobs without my say-so? Okay. What do you belong to? De jour. Where do you belong to? Kingdom of White Rus. Huh? Mm-hmm. I'm done with this nonsense. Here. My Bavarian friend, I made you king. S get out of that faction right away. Stop it. There we go. Let's take care of. So we can just wait for the Pope to attack us. Then he's a criminal and then we can do whatever we need to. <laughs> but we should move this rally flag a little bit away from there. I was sort of, it was too close to comfort for me. Last time he did this thing. We'll get the Sangjum Kashimiri spear against the magnificent battle axe. That's fine. I don't need that. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> well, at least we can destroy that one. The battle axe we can't. And we definitely don't need that. Well, disappeared without a trace. Well, what a surprise. That's fine. I love this dangerous faction. It's, it's great. Peasants in the county of Passau. Wants independence on, from their liege. Yeah, sure. We are working on it. I think. Which one are you converting? Prince Bishopric of Roma. Just 14 years left. Okay, so our Italian alliance, our internal one, was just invalidated because she ain't no longer queen. Bit of a problem. But they are not a strong vassal, so they don't really need a seat in the council. Okay, stuff's being finished here. Let's see. Who would be a good chancellor? Who would be a good chancellor and a strong vassal? Our brother. 
But of course, she would be much, much better. Ah, it's fine. He has earned it. He has stood by us. Uh, we're not trying to befriend anyone anymore. So let's check our vassals here. Who needs friendship? The gift of friendship. You definitely need that. All right, let's build some stuff. Upgrade the castles. That's still our main game. No matter how much it costs. Well, actually it does matter how much it costs, so keep that in mind. <laughs> but we'll try anyway. Is there anything affordable here? Honestly, I think there's a better way to look at this. Not affordable. I mean, 360. That's affordable enough. But it's not super sensible, not super helpful. 360. Yeah, there's some money in here. We'll take that. And that's all we can build. Because, as I say, and as I keep saying, we need backup. We need some buffer for when we actually go back to war. Is England losing? No, England's winning, but we might as well send a few troops. Send our best and brightest. We'll raise our men at arms here. And then we can send them over to Ireland. Again. Take the capital again. They do have some gold there. Not a lot, but enough. Okay. Concentric castle was dis uh, not discovered, not destroyed. It was built. All right. Bavaria is facing a little rebellion there. And we're pregnant once more, but never by our husband. Concubine child. Oh, that's actually a, a real true child of ours. Not a concubine child. Concubine child. Thirty-four months until you can send an ultimatum, huh? Nope. Too weak again. So what are you fighting right now? Another claim on the throne. Sure. And our chancellor just died. So... Wait, this strong vassal here. The very young one. What are you good at? Nothing. <sighs> and we could replace him. At least. With this guy. That'll help a little bit. Uh, I mean... She's a mastermind philosopher. She's not terrible, but... You know... I'd rather have someone who's actually good at the job. Until we don't have any good options anymore, basically. What prisoners can we ransom? So, so many prisoners for ransoming here. Look at all these inactive accolades. Because I don't care. I have given up on this. It's impossible. Aww, we got a dopey cat. Extra stress gain goes down. Svinunimir, 42 gold. No, you're an expensive man. Okay, we need to send for some knights. That's a very, 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 very sad selection. Let's go. Invite some knights. Let's go. 
Oh, wait. We're not even at war with, with Ireland this time. Oh, no. I went all the way wrong. Oh, God. What's good here? This. <laughs> we'll take that, then. Oh, no. Oh, God. Bad. I hope they won't follow us out of their region. But they just might. And we might not get away. Getting on ships takes a long, long time. Yeah, 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 we're done for. Ugh, great. Well, it can't say we weren't there. Wait a moment. Are we winning this? No. I'll just look away and we'll see what happens. I'm just not gonna watch. I'm too excited. Okay, we need a new steward. And you're not terrible as a steward, see? See? It all worked out in the end. Come on, be our stewardess. Which sounds very sexist, but... Very good. Another child. Another inbred one. Amazonian, though. And intelligent. But that's... that's horrible. Uh, let's see. I think we need to get rid of this guy. As our concubine. Yeah. Can't afford all these inbred children. I mean, we're, we're losing, but we made them bleed. That's for sure. Seven thousand killed. Well, not necessarily killed, but defeated for sure. So where are we running off to? To the Isle of Man. Okay. Allied combatant slain. So the King of Bavaria was just killed. Does this still go? Who's the king now? What? This should be done. He just died. Okay, a new knight has arrived. Oh, potentially. Okay, we're shy, so we're gonna get sad about forcing knights to be knights. Good stuff. Let's see. We have a bunch of unstationed troops, though. Let's take care of that. Once we're no longer fighting. Uh, no. We'll deal with stress without getting any bad traits in the way. Let's see. Chain for a tournament. Let's go do that. Always a chance we become strong. Well, increase our prowess by one. It's not terrible. Our contribution is 100%. So... We did all we could. We and Helge become lovers. I mean... Sure. He was... He is our friend. So... We'll just sit on this little island. If the enemy comes for us, then at least we have the benefit of them needing to cross a strait, which is bad for them. 
Do we have someone who hates us that we could put in a leadership position here? Someone important who hates us, that is. I mean, not really, but... So they're coming for Dunbar again. Question is... Will our English allies... Okay. So we got 15 prestige out of this one. Very good. Well done, us. I can't go to that tourney. Could do some holy warring around here. You know? Get Arabia. <laughs> we can't actually because we don't have the right amount of stuff for anything here. This is just still so sad that we have basically no titles. We even have any digital claim. Like this, this is all we can go for. Whereas he took all of this from us. That's just the saddest thing. Could take him in, but do I really care to? Let's see who else we could fight here. Burgundy, don't have a castle spelly. Oh, Lothringia. Interesting. Frisia. What what claim do you have? County of Dokum. Okay. Let's see, Denmark. I mean, we could just check the declare war thing. Frisia, we check that, we check that. Finland. Baghdadi Grand Emirate, we saw that. The Ghan Grand Emirate? Who's that? Where's that? That? What? Okay, we could do for the Kingdom of Caucasus. Ah. I should like to go to Spain, but... Just... Could go for an artifact claim war. Wow. That's amazing. It's kind of trying to shop around, see what's out there for us. I mean, Finland. <sighs> Finland isn't all that interesting, you know? Only have a little bit of du jour claim there. That doesn't matter. Let's station our men in arms. Finally. Let's let's get going on this. So I want to station them. And we did build this thing, so that's good for them. That's where the workshops are. So we station our oh yeah. Station them here. And these guys don't go anywhere because we don't have another holding to station anyone in. Well, that's okay. So we're earning money a little bit. Can we have another windmills? Because those are insanely good. And I think we should do that. Plus 0 0.7. That's just such a large amount of money. Incredible. Incroyable. But our buffer policy requires us to not spend any more money for a while. I still dare the Pope. I double dare him. Oh. Wait, do we have a new Pope? No. Oh, he still hates us. <laughs> You wouldn't accept this, would you? <laughs> would cost us two levels of devotion. How is your conversion going? It is happening. It's 
so many inbred children. Let's make them warriors. The inbred ones are going to be warriors. The non-inbred ones... Uh, diplomacy. And you... I mean, it's kind of late to throw at anything. It's also... Ah, oh, you're already going for warrior. Fine. I wonder, what will this lady's legacy be? The first one she throws in there. Maybe bureaucrats. Nah, I think resilient bloodlines more for her. She's trying to get all them kids. So we'll just let it run a little bit longer. Carpathia didn't break apart as much as I feared it would. With the recent developments. So I'm fairly happy with that. I'm still upset with the Byzantines. That is still unacceptable. Demand artifact. You want the prize necklace. That is something I wear. Go away. You don't get anything like that. How dare you. Make such requests of us. Um, no, I have other plans for that money. It's a lot. Immaculate Gardens for some prestige. For five years as well. Like, that's nothing. You know, I'm, I'm tempted by the development growth, but no. It's just not worth it. How is our development anyway? 58. Getting places. Getting places. Should we upgrade this to the development growth level? Now let's first see what we can do about our... Nah, that doesn't help. Why can't we go up here? We don't have Royal Armory yet. But I believe we're working on that. Yeah, we are. Two years, two years. We're not going to split our attention further. Heavy infantry, toughness plus three, and heavy color toughness plus three. We're gonna need it. Oh, our cat charmed a vassal. So we'll just wait before we upgrade any further because this is gonna unlock a whole lot of powerful stuff for us, the Royal Armory. Being able to upgrade our stables further. Our cavalry has been a thing, let's say. Might increase their size, honestly. That's some that's some money well spent. Same on the trebuchets, I think. Yeah, that's okay. That helps us some. Archers are also really good value for money. So I think we'll just put them to max size. We haven't really upgraded our armies in a long, long time. So, how is this ongoing? <sighs> well. Nothing to be done about it. Weren't we allied with you guys? Huh. Can we get a Clement of some of these places, maybe? Like, are there Christian Claymonts on these? You. No. He will not come to court. No one here will come to court. Let's go pet our cat. Thank you. For helping me de-stress a little bit. What do we have here? Colorful talent. Uh, artistic genius. 
Oh, I don't care. Let's let's just let him do it. But hold court. We haven't done that in a bit. Petitioners, please. Yeah, we'll take the common touch and take a little bit of stress. It's okay. Oh, look at that. Are you kidding me? Pope Anastasius converts to servant of the Lamb. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, so... Empress, my vassal Duke Verigan, seeks to challenge my rightful position to install my acquaintance Clara as the usurper in Bavaria. He realizes malcontents. So we can be like, okay. Duke Veringen will stop. Yeah. He will stop. Holding court was very worthwhile just now. I'm an outcast just like the horned god. Could become a witch with a secret. Uh, no. We will not. We will simply have a party. Well, also we won't do that neither because, well, that's very expensive. But the Pope... Listen. Listen, my lad. You are to convert. Did you not hear? Ah, shame. I thought the event would do it, but... It didn't. Sure, read like it did, but it didn't. I'm really quite impressed with late game balance, uh, overall. It's not as easy to steamroll everyone as it used to be. Bavarian Catholic Populists. The independence faction is the biggest thing here. Let's befriend our Italian queen. Always be friends with Italians. They will mess you up. Best make sure you're on their good side. New stewardship perk. Soon forgiven. Monthly tyranny goes down. Ah, uh, we'll see. Never used tyranny. Who are you? Why are you sitting around here? You have a leash. You. Why can't I grant you a vassal? You. Take this vassal. Silly man. I mean, hungry is... They're big. They are big. Anything interesting here? Not. Oh yes, very good. The dynasty thing. I think resilient bloodline. Yeah. Less bad trades, more good trades. And a dangerous faction again. All right, let's have it. Come on now. I dare you. I double dare you. Twenty months until they go. So, in 19 months, we might have a friend in her, so we might not even come to battle. We'll see. But we are not going to do anything silly right now. We'll just wait it out. And accumulate money to pay for it all. I wish I had any good claims against this, but I really don't. I mean, what vassals do you have? Despotate of Nicaea. He has two kingdoms. 
in with them. That's all. So the best thing we could try and get is someone like that. But they'll never come for us. Come to us. <sighs> Kingdom of Africa. Now. I'm not coming with you. You can brood about that all you like. I'll outlive you. You're 38. You're an old man. I'm 26. You will die long before you see your crusades come to fruition. By the way, this is probably a buggy thing. Like, these, these crusades aren't that frequent, generally. The Byzantines, they still irk me. Don't quite know what to do about them. We are pregnant once more. Very good. Not going to be inbred. So we might get a better heir than, well, them. <laughs> see, alliance power. Oh, we could go with the Kingdom of Italy right there. Now nah, we'll go with Frankia. Yeah. Let's get that back into the fold here. Let's see. Oh, King of Germany. Aren't we already allied? No, not at the moment. Ah, well. A faction against us has been disbanded. Would you look at just that? Ah, the Pope. Yes, the Pope is back to his shenanigans. 15 months and he'll come. Yes. Cat. Giving us red free for five years. Very good. Definitely something you want while you're pregnant. A rat free house. Sensible thing to have. 10 months, 100% success chance of finding a friend in Italy. That should just be enough. I'm thinking. Alrighty. What do we have? Gift artifact. I become the owner of this. Okay, thank you. I don't really want that, but... You know. Let's see. Hindering relations. Slanderous rumors. Scheme power. Minus five. I will not allow him to do this. Scheme power goes down. 88% chance of this goes well. Okay, she was persuaded by our plea not to listen to the Pope. Who is the Pope? What does he know? Nothing. Pope's fool. He's such a fool indeed. He became my vassal. What fool becomes my vassal? I mean, beside the very gentle and sensible people of Bavaria, of course. But the Pope? The Pope's fool. For becoming my vassal. <laughs> Little bossy girl, huh? Little inbred bossy girl. Get away from me. Oh, what? Okay, fine. Fine, we'll join. This time we would lose a level of devotion. This hasn't happened before. So that's quite interesting. Can we actually get something out of this again? <gasps> Look at that. It is an or... What? It is ours this time. It actually is. It is ours this time. 
So... Alright, okay. But... He's Catholic. I think the game is completely bonkers now. I think the game has no idea what's going on anymore. Five months. And we're going for what? For Africa. Kingdom of Africa. Okay. Right, we'll just save up more money. Oh, yes. Royal Armory discovered. Ah, uh, we can't. Yeah, we can't use it. We need to save money. No. Standing armies. Okay. Friend gains prestigious image. Very good. Costs us nothing. Just gives us some prestige. And we have a new son and heir. Bistrik. Good lad. Good lad. Uh, you'll be learned, I think. Let's make you smart. Byzantine Empire Alliance. Will you take it matrilineally? Yes, you will. Oh, I'm a fool. Uh, is a son. So I'll go for that. I mean, if... I'll take the alliance. Let's bygones be bygones. Let's stop this foolish bickering about lands. Let's introduce some claims on your empire and my bloodline. How about that? You want to negotiate an alliance? Sure. That's fine. Queen of Bohemia, right in our realm. Take it. The Knights of Rorschachershire has been created. What's going on here? I can be even more generous. No, I cannot be. Let's see. Better him spending than me. I don't care. Let them do that. Let's check so we don't have anything that we need being destroyed soon. Oh, these are all very, very high. That's crazy. Why are these all so good? In terms of um, their durability. It's kind of crazy. The first actual... Lamb Crusade. And is it the Pope again? No. Not the Pope this time. It is Queen of Italy. Which we're soon to be friends with. So I shan't worry. We will raise our troops... Uh, yeah, here, down there, in Tivoli. 27 days. I think we can start. We'll raise all here, and we'll immediately bring down one of these and then we click raise all men at arms here that should then work yes fascination with plate armor good stuff can we do something anything to reduce our stress i don't want to die like our mother did i think we'll do a feast no we're shy we're not gonna get uh uh if you're, if you're shy, you're not going to get that. What I want. It's not exciting. Bear sighting. I will go there. Get the no cost upgrades. Circumspect. Travel speed goes down, but hostile scheme resistance jumps. Or we go with travel speed up. Um, I don't need prestige. This can go down. I don't need it to be successful. I just need recreation. So we'll start the hunt. I know it's money. Money I didn't want to spend, but there we go. And we have friends with Italy. So that dissolves that little group here. And now we can start befriending her. Okay. Zero percent. All right. Fine. Anyone here needs friendship? You need friendship, huh? Here. 
72%. That's good enough for me. Are we organizing armies? Yes, we are. Call to war. Uh, sure. I'll come. Our hunt will continue. I don't care. I don't need to take care of any of this. So are you attacking or are you defending? What, what did we just agree to? This war. Attacking. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. What do you need me? You don't. I have more important things to do. A pig could manage this place better. Let's try. Improved pastures is great. And it worked. So we have improved pastures at home now. Uh, we'll fight him because we're definitely going to win. And we get another decent Ishanite. It's all good. Don't worry about it. So, since this is a crusade where we can actually win something. Right. Full ownership fascination. That's an older one, isn't it? Oh, no. That's, uh, that's where we are on now. Uh... Let's see. I think I want bombards. Cranes. Nah. Noblesse oblige. Nah. Vassal limit plus 20. Nah. This could be interesting, but I think we'll go with bombards. Let's get the best siege engines there are. Okay. This will cost a lot of money to send down there. 385 gold. Ugh. I like that it sums that up. But just sending our troops there. No! We're not getting mendicant mystics, but that reminds me. Can we add the last thing here? Yes, we could, but we don't have a lot of prestige yet. Alliance negotiation acceptance plus 50. White peace acceptance plus 10. Learn language scheme plus extra. I don't think I had anything in mind that I wanted next. I wanted to have something for heavy infantry, but we don't have that. There's nothing there that just helps for that, sadly. Winter Warriors. I mean, sure. Noble Adoption. Nah. Concubines, we already have that. Don't need that. Polygamous. Could have up to four spouses. Commanders are more likely to gain commander traits. May always challenge other characters. I mean, that's pretty good, you know. Army movement speed, plus 10%. Marshal, plus 2. Can't because it has been too recent that a new thing has been established. So we'll... We'll have to wait, whether or not we like it. So where is everyone else going? They are not going where I'm going, so that worries me a lot. Sure, be master of the hunt. Losing a lot of money, so what we need to is to just attack. Get in there, start the sieging, get stuff done. Right, so what we're gonna do again is first we group everyone. Now we're gonna split our siege army off. So the trebuchets and a lot of levies. Say 10,000, 9,000, that's fine. 
And then we select our other army. And go stand them on another thing. That will also siege. And now this thing here gets a siege commander if we have one. And we do. And this army will keep our marshal and commander. And we'll send them south to fight the infidels. Well, we'll lose a bunch of troops there. That's fine. We're overwhelmed by stress and we die. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, just like our dear mama. Okay. So. We may continue playing as Emperor Bistrik. She died 28. She did not outlive the Pope as she deigned to do. So, let's see. A woman of unparalleled prowess. She finally found an opponent that she could not overpower. <laughs> Emperor Bistrik ascends the throne having mastered many skill. He is sure to be admired by his subject. He is zero years old. He has mastered nothing. Not a single thing is what he has mastered. Um... Okay, so this is going to be very dangerous. This will take a lot of time. Um, we're in, in, in a kind of terrible spot here. Let me, f let me fix up the council first. So she needs to do this domestic affair. There's nothing above it to be done at the moment. This is the most important thing. Uh, we'll bring her in. We might negotiate an alliance here and there. We'll have to see. Problem is, we also lost all of our outside alliances. Which you don't want. Definitely don't want to do that. So, the Byzantines are no longer... Oh, they are still our allies. But that's only because we're in a war with them at the moment. So, the main problem really is that we've lost all of our outside alliances right now. And I shouldn't think... That we can negotiate them or anything. And we have a bunch of siblings, but we can't do anything about them. Could try here. Let's see. Alliance power. Let's go. What are you? Half brother. Yeah, okay. Let's get West Trankia back on board. And we can't do anything else, really. Ah, well. He's betrothed to the Byzantine... Uh, so that alliance will stand, which is good for us. And we're back with the lads there. All right, but we'll continue here next time. All of this will have to wait. There's going to be a lot of factions going on, a lot of everything going on. So we'll take some time. If you watch this over on Twitch, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. If you watch this over on YouTube, likewise. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. If you are looking at either but haven't looked at the other, go check out Twitch. Go check out YouTube. And I hope to see you around next time. If you've got any questions whatsoever playing the game, just come over on Twitch. Ask me questions. I'll try and help you best I can. Until then, have a great evening or day, whatever it is for you. Bye-bye.